All right, expect a lot of character variety until we get to the potential Johnny Fest later on. But we're oh. start, you know, everyone loves Rocket's really fun characters, both really good set play characters once they get going, but Milia's speed, big yeah. advantage here for Sora, already starting out with a good knockdown in this corner pressure. Here we go, the Sacred Garden coming out as well, keeping Joy locked down, YRC to catch and get the whiff punish, but wow, just a raw counter hit. Not gonna get a big pickup though, so Sora is able to escape. We do a lot of meter just trying to fix the little hits, but the unsafe tuner ball is going to get hit into another setup. Oh, the empty low off the air dash, and it's just great pressure from Sora, who's just been running, running the, the gameplay you would expect. Resets into heavy diff, the counter hit gets a uh, clean round. Yeah, very solid round there. I mean, Milia is very strong in this version of the game. Being able to use pin to harass Heihun from the air is going to be very nice in this matchup. And of course, Heihun is a bigger body character too, so you know, has more room to get hit. That's true. But already giving Melia a taste of her own medicine, just setting up a lot of uh, plus frames, getting that advantage, but then it's a cross up with the disc, forced the burst out from Joy. But Joy still with the life lead, finds a jump heavy and forces out the burst. Good use of YRC coming out from Sora already. Using it upon Joy's landing here to try and catch them uh, and get a whip punish if they're falling down with a button or special move. It rides with a 6k full combo knockdown. The classic secret garden setup. You can hit her out of it, but you still have to respect the bubble on the way back. And now one more setup. Goes for hair car, but the great uh, dead angle. Oh, but the poke out there. Sora able to take game number one in pretty decisive fashion. Joy, though, starting to figure out the matchup a little bit here going forward. But Sora uh, ultimately came out on top. Yeah, just not afraid to challenge. The little gaps there. Just happy to press buttons in between. So uh, Joy needing to tighten that up, not let Milia just get out of the pressure for free. But oh yeah, classic round start, six heavy, the party starter. Oh, gets the air throw as well after teching out, setting up the heavy ball. And this is what you like to see here, just harassing Milia. The thing is, you just cannot allow Milia to move freely around the screen, right? Or else she is going to dominate the neutral game here. Can be very tricky. And we're seeing Joy throw out a lot of just uh, specials to hold that space, but oh, the burst on the heavy disc, really not bad, but still stuck in the corner. Yeah, there's that nice JS, able to get the 2D this time, setting up the orb, nice tick throw. There we yeah. go, all the damage on those grabs. And then that might not have a command grab, but those throw setups do so much damage, but the bad moon, all right, this is great for Sora. There is no burst on Joy, and Sora having a lot of bar here. Setting up all of the mix-ups, the hard knockdown, one more disc set up. Turbo oh, fall, oh gosh. This is really dangerous. One more mix actually could close this out, and there it is. Got caught and then comboed with the 6K. Sora is now at set point. Oh, there you go, counter hit Shinken. Get the knockdown. There's a tuner ball, but the anti-air uh, crouching heavy. This is gonna be good as Sora's just shown that Joy is not, is not getting the right guesses. Oh, speaking of guesses, good block on the burst. Remember that JH is going to be able to get the hard knock down there. Gets the pickup with the black beat combo back into the mix. Yet, like you said, not tightening it up enough, right? Got the 2K, but immediately put a gap in, and Sora was willing to press. And stole the turn. Not a great time to be without no shoes. As these lows just clipping Joy left and right. It's kept it competitive, found a shink, and it's going to be good with the big hit to start things off, but. Still has to find something significant and has to watch out for the burst. Like the YRC idea, 2D is going to land. Trying to figure out a way to establish some kind of pressure. There is a clash, leads straight into a knockdown. Joy still in this, trying to go for some chip damage there with the blue orb. There's plenty of Hayabusa's just trying to catch Sora in there. Finds that air Hayabusa, beautiful hit. And okay, stays alive. This is good for Joy. Just at least getting some momentum. There we go, trying to go for a big kick right at the start of the sweet chin music. Not gonna work out though. Oh, and the 5D gonna actually catch Joy trying to press out with 2P. Oh, I like that burst. Kept her in the corner. Uh, now Milia did it. Early tech on the burst. Has to watch out, but at least spot out of the corner. Oh, that's huge. All the way coast to coast. Gets the hard knockdown straight into the mix. Lands into the 6K. Okay, try to challenge on the bad move. Great 2P, yeah, that button is so efficient. Gets into the Shinkin, try to reset. But yeah, too far from the, the wall to get the combo off the wall bounce, but we're swinging. 
Ooh. We are we are swinging. Yeah, axe right into the ground, but Sora immediately pressing out as well. Definitely excelling in these scramble situations. A beautiful Red Roman cancel combo to close out the first game. And also, just want to give a huge shout out to Doving Lee coming through with Solstice. That sounds really cool, actually. Well, all right. Yeah, classic, you know, anime game tournament. You're going to have all the different names. You got plenty of, you know, VTubers and other stuff, other kind of folks playing through, but uh, Rie Awa and Telefluff, both of these. Um, Going hard at it with, you see, the Intellifluck, you know, Canada representing too. We saw our last match was Sora from Canada. Intellifluck's just putting that pressure on Dizzy. Setting the knockdown. All this bar gets the air dash K into the super, and just like that, brutal. Intellifluck not pulling no punches. And this can be kind of difficult for Dizzy, right? Once Eno gets in, it's kind of difficult for Dizzy to push you off. And ACDM coming through with the sub, 11 months. Thank you for the support and welcome back. All right, forced out the burst from Riawa, but the throw and Telefluff's gonna put up the antidepressant scale and now just run the pressure. You have meter for trying to press through, but the far slash, no, that's way too much recovery on that. Yeah, and it is looking Sorry, like more of the slash. same here. Raph back into the corner. The vertical chemical love is going to be able to close out the first game in quick fashion. Hey, I like Intellifluff's game plan. She is not giving Riawa any chance to set up. Uh, yeah. Mid screen or full screen. You don't want, you know, Dizzy to put out the fish, put out bubbles, put out spears, anything like that. And considering Eno's got, you know, kind of straightforward movement, but a able to shoot from such a far range with that uh, HCL, and also going under so many things with the uh, stroke to big tree. So a lot of tools to navigate. But at least this time, Riala found a hit, but gets burst into the corner. Yeah, and once again, stuck in a very dangerous situation. Able to fight their way out, but now. Puts themselves right back in, and AJ Tucker coming through with the sub. Welcome and enjoy the tournament here. Right, that boy Tuck Tuck. Thank you, thank you. And, and Teleflop's doing it again. Nice. Uh -oh, Gets the Dizzy on Dizzy. Yep. No good here. He's gonna full, full just combo confirm. Doesn't get the air dash combo. There's a fish out and a chance for Riawa who goes right under the HCL. Oh, but we're gonna immediately throw out the super here. Tries to answer back, but is actually going to lose the meter and gets blown up for a wake-up throw, though. Is going to be able to close off the round. And yeah, Dizzy actually does get dizzied faster than any other character in the game, ironically enough. <laughs> yeah, it's always it's the multiplier for her. Yeah, it's very easy to. And then being that Dizzy is all based on the damage dealt, and you see how much is coming off from Telefluff. There's the nice burst from Miawa getting some space to hard knockdown. And this is the ice spike. Could spell doom as Intellifluff has all this meter and some grip pressure. I really love the 2S there, but it's just not getting anything afterwards. And here we go back into the corner, 100 meter. It's out the mirror, but that's what Intellifluff was waiting for. There you go. Air throw finishes the job there as Riawe Tech to try to fight forward. And again, Intellifluff, you know, you see like how good of a season play from them. Old game good, new game bad. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's not get, let's not start that. Hold on, we got the the, tr the triangle of guilty gear right now. They all can, they're all living together. It's, it's the holy Rusty trinity. Rusty is gonna be a showcase of all three of them. I'm excited. There we go. Pat already starting off strong against Davo's soul. Forces the burst out. Over oh, the beta blade whiff. That's a good start here for Davo. Doesn't get a big capitalization on it though. Oh, there you go. Found the air dash, big hit, forced the burst out. And because Chip being made of paper, has to burst out to avoid anything scarier. Gamble Blade being like the, the goat in some situations. Even invisible Gamble Blade not ready yeah. for it. And now Devo just blocking for their life. I'm not gonna lie, invisible Gamble Blade is kinda messed up. <laughs> <laughs> Gamble Blade's already really good, and then you just make it to where you can't even see the startup of it. Kinda not fair, Pat. <laughs> here we go, 2D to start things off immediately. The meaty 2P trying to keep some pressure started, but again, Chip is one of those slippery characters, very similar to Melia, where it's just really hard to pin him down, but there we go, a nice JH. Oh, with on the wild throw. Not get, we're not parting right now, and I like this pressure. It's, it's just Pat. It's again, he, he loves Exert so much because he gets to just show his player expression freestyle and really play how he loves to play. And you see that here is it's just throwing out normals left and right, trying to dare you to even think about pressing against them. Yeah, exactly. Especially with all those teleports, right? He is trying to catch Dave O, throwing out some long recovery button, and, but there's a trade. 
Push all the way to the corner. Dead angle to escape immediately into the teleport. Beautiful blitz. Yeah, waited for the 2D at the end there in case it was a blitz back. Wasn't quite there from Patton. Still has a lead. Almost pulling a burst up again. Gamble Blade's gonna punish the six heavy on with. And now we're down to a one touch scenario. Can Dave O block the last little bit of mix after this uh, situation? Oh no, but you can't block a throw, Raph. And Pat the Flip is gonna take game number one. I love that checkmate scenario when you get the force the air tech. So now you have a character like Soul that can't do wake up DP. At least has to do it airborne, but can't do it on the ground. So that the, the scary part of like respecting the reversal options um, is eliminated because of the air tech. Even if there's like invulnerability, you saw Pat hesitated a little bit, got the air grab, well done. Absolutely, but now Davo starting off very aggressive in this round, already pushing Pat the flip to the corner. Nice JH to avoid the run up normal. Oh, the chase down. I love this from Davo. Look at that pressure going in. Coquette mentioning that uh, Pat stole the burst from Davo. Oh, wow. So that is already in his pocket, and that's a like mission, big mission accomplished. But uh, Davo answered him back. Yeah, Davo took that personally, actually. <laughs> there we go. There's the throw immediately into the teleport. Tries to go for the overhead. Nice defense so far from Davo. Immediately recovering and catching Pat. But the five oh, right. feet anti air. Late cancel on that. I love it. Right off the right, right little airborne gets the alpha blade. And it's just, again, so hard to pin down Chip. The burst will just put him in the corner with those massive jumps. Letting Davo escape. We got the clash of the jump heavies. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, this is anime, all right. And there we go. Gets the pick up back into the stinky legs. Into the air. Gets the daggers out. Ooh, double super. I like it. Enough, yeah. Minimum damage on that is actually super solid. Even though as many, as many hits as it is. So able to clean out that round through the guts. And now Pat, one round away from taking this over. Dave, oh! And Davo is getting really good confirms and a lot of damage, but the problem is he's just having a hard time in neutral actually catching Pat. Pat is being so active with teleports and so active with jumps. There's the wild throw, though. Going to get a nice combo off of this. Okay, yeah, force the burst out. I like that. Come, little common situation after it. Gets the Gamble Blade wire C. Into the corner you go with the slow shuriken. And the thing is, like, uh, you just see Davo is putting in much pressure. That's a huge counter hit on the Bandit Bringer. It's bringing the pain. And now it's a one-touch scenario. You have to guess on the guesses on the low correctly. But has to watch out. Oh, gets the just block in the air, but actually wasn't able to get the air throw afterwards. Now just trying to find that one singular hip. Oh my god, these teleports. He's just throwing out JH trying so hard to catch him. They're doing their best to not hit each other at this point. And Davo's being patient, doesn't have a lot of meat resources to work with. Just really needs a little bit of chip because Pat has no meter. Exactly, and that's where you see the Gunflame and the Fafnir coming out, right? Just trying to force Ooh. some kind of a block, but this is a big punish as well. There's the tech, catches him in the air. There's a burst on Pat. Oh, Alpha Blade, we're gonna see a gold burst. We're gonna see anything under pressure. Oh my gosh. Chip damage imminent, but players in the oh, Fafnir! YRC Fafnir down to the wire for Davo, but still staying alive and tying things up 1-1. Pat was in control of like that last 20 seconds of that round, but you know what happens? Everyone's got a game plan until they get punched in the face. Exactly. What Souls win quote? Spacing? Footsies? <laughs> I just punch stuff until it stops moving. Oh, what a call out. And it's just so good that using the YRC, which can eat inputs, makes that situation a little bit tricky. Can we make the situation a little tricky? Yeah, also so gives now. him just that one flash second to see what Pat is going to do, but there's another burst to try and maintain the corner. Right. So again, like, Soul can even this up pretty quickly. It's just finding those hits is a lot harder than you think. Soul, again, a, uh, you know, straightforward, hard hitting character. But when he gets those opportunities, makes it count and forces the burst out for Pat. Pat is doing a pretty phenomenal job at whip punishing as well and counter poking, really just kind of shutting Davo down in the neutral game for the most part. Oh, he, char <laughs> he charged that forever too before he got hit. And there we go, run up throw, gonna be able to close out this round once again at set point. And just a uh, hard, hard call out with that charge blitz from just almost full screen. Again, that's, and that's Pat's style, just, just loves to freestyle it and make these hard call-outs, and it's working out so well. 
Going now, unfortunate trades here though. They are starting to work in Davo's favor and it's danger time. Let's go. All right, chip 6K. You know what's happening. You know what's coming next. There it is, what yeah, I say. Of course That's... it's coming. <laughs> it's uh -oh. the danger time special. Speaking of danger time specials, Mortal Cannon made that super easy to confirm. Good chunk of damage. And Davo, one good mix away. Here we go, picked up. There's the Kunai Super all the way to the ground. Walls playing, tries to go for the low option. Okay. Pat needing just one more clean hit. With the meter, there's a burst on Dave's side. Oh, oh. the RC, I like that. But there's the air throw, gets the knockdown now. But still, Pat just waking up with buttons, the back hitting JK. Davo has a chance to still stay alive in here, just needs one more touch, tries to go for the break. Oh, and jump heavy. The great equalizer landing on top of Pat, and now we're down to our final round. <laughs> the clash from behind with JP. <laughs> Man, I love this game. Oh, but the tumble on the counter hit JD. Pat getting a nice confirm here. Tries to go for the leaf grab. I don't think the leaf grab is hit yet so far this set. No, but still gonna let it rip. Speaking of let it rip, Gamble Blade Wire C. That is just really stuffed any of Davo's uh, pressure in neutral, but finds a delayed air dash. It's a good knockdown. And a goal burst. Nope, you cannot punish that. Great from Pat just to challenge afterwards. <laughs> With the life lead and the meter lead here, gonna spend it to keep the pressure going, harassing with the 2k. But teleports and gets caught, forced to block the break as well. Still, oh, goal burst from Davo! Run up pressure, no attempt at throw from either player. Oh, but what a JD! The counter hit JD getting the pick up. Pat with great situational awareness, gonna take it 2 1 over Davo. Coach myself, as we get into our next match with Fighting Frankie and Darthesius. Darthesis. 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 <laughs> Darthesis, that's a good one. But here we go. Actually, Axel low here. This is very exciting to see. Axel versus Eno. This matchup is notoriously horrible for Eno in this game. It's right? tricky, 100%. It's this, this, this range right here. The 5P range can shut her down so well. And then a Rensen going right under HCL. So it really eliminates a lot of her tools. When she gets in, it's very hard for Axel to get to remove her from that space outside of burst. Yeah, he has a few things. He has a few tools, whether it be parry, his DP, or burst. But yeah, it can be difficult because Eno is pretty good at baiting those things out. But here we go, fighting Friday, fighting Frankie. Why do I say Friday? <laughs> because it's Saturday, that's why. And your days are all mixed up. I think you it's went, just because I went to bed too late. All right. It's mostly just because I watched like 10 minutes of the of Friday the movie on Twitter. Someone posted the whole thing. <laughs> 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 but, Fighting Frankie, doing a really good job of just zoning out Darth here. Oh, nice, nice hit game. from the jump heavy. The biggest thing is that knockdown and a rare Axel backdash, getting him out of dodge. There we go, yep, harassing with 5P, because the problem is that when Eno dashes forward, she is airborne, right? And in this game, you have to spend meter to block in the air. A ground, or block grounded normals, I should say, in the air. But there's a beautiful throw, got a combo right into the bomber. And backdash getting caught by Rensen. There's that 5P. Try to get cute with it. But look at Darth Yeezy. Let me call him Yeezus. Yeezus under pressure. We're just going to keep it short and sweet. <laughs> Knockdown with the, the antidepressant scale. More pressure here, but the 5P trying to challenge it. This is greatly good for uh, Yeezus. Let's see. Is Frankie going to try and go for some kind of a burst here or a DP? Oh, actually goes for the dead angle. Really smart decision. Now, one of the rare dead angles that's safe on block. So not a bad tool. Stop it and fighting Frankie on a Friday, taking that uh, first game pretty well. Uh, Friday, or as I like to call it, Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, fighting Frankie, the power of the jorts is helping him out in this matchup. I don't want to hear any bad talk in the chat about Axel's jorts. Who wears short shorts? They look good on them, all right? <laughs> uh, comfy. They're snug, too. Those, those, are, those are thigh huggers. Absolutely. Oh, oh counter the... hit. That's big damage. Yeah, the reel in there on the Rensen. Try, Try to go it for again. His... Yeah, nice FD. Oh, Rensen is just controlling this match completely, and there is a bomber. A rare Axel perfect. Yeah, again, uh, if it's any character that's going to have to get messed up by that, it's going to be, you know, finds the far slash, trying to put some pressure on, but... Frankie's defense, 
Lazy has been just on top of it, challenging with like 5Ks and just playing the matchup so well to a T. Yeah, I really love, like you mentioned, that 5K using it incredibly well. The 2K also just kind of throwing it out also. 2K, of course, very good at low profiling, but there is a beautiful trade harassing with 5P, catching these techs. Ooh, across a PCL, very nice. All right, and 5P again. In this range, she can't throw the big tree. It won't reach far enough. She can't end her presence scale because 5P is just going to check it. And Ren sent to finish the job with the Blitz Charge. Well done as Frankie takes a big win over Yeezus. A blessing here and Exert is alive and well. But one of these players is about to be dead. Usagi versus Frosted. And look at that. Oh my god, the 6k right off the bat to catch the tech. Here we go, JH in. Forces the burst out of Usagi. I love this kind of matchup here. Because you have like Kai with, you know, solid enough normals that in that mid-range can... At least help challenge against Johnny. Of course, Johnny getting in. You know it's party time. But that early burst from Usagi. Both players just not just not wanting to have to deal with either other. Uh, just asserting the space control. Here he goes. YRC coming out. Frosted should have a lot of matchup knowledge though against Johnny. If I remember correctly, Frosted does play a lot against Rio, who is another very strong Johnny player. And look at this, getting some set play going with the grinders. And you see it forced a dead angle because you know Johnny is susceptible to that pressure. That's the third grab of this round. And we get the air dash canceled. Level three mist finder. Okay. Knocked down, just kind of styling now. Level Point is no level of mist finder. Gets the grab, a little reset into it, and a grab back. Okay, there's a burst here. I like the JD there. Yusagi actually went for the blitz, but Frosted was up in the air. Again, uh, Frosted challenging, even with the stun dipper, no meter. That's the scariest kind of Kai player. <laughs> oh, but he's going to get caught in the back dash by the 5k. Usagi able to get a nice big pick up here into this Y hard knockdown. There's the seal. But again, far slash. You know, it pay, pays the bills for Kai. And it forces uh, Usagi to have to consider their route of entry. Finds a hit with a 2k, and now we're going to get a nice corner carry. Yep, and there is the burst. Very good position to burst two from Frosted back into this neutral game. All your meter gone. That was much. so many YRCs. Finds the crouching heavy with the 6p anti air on the crossover. Really nice. Still pretty pretty even. Usagi with a small lead, but all this meter on Frosted's side. Yeah, Frosted just needs that one solid hit. There's a beautiful dead angle back into the corner. Tries to go for the empty low, but Usagi finds the gap with the far slash. No more coins. Level two. This is the final misfinder that's going to be powered up for Usagi, so Frosted with a great opportunity. 5p any here on that very far away air dash. Oh, but the tech forward! That is really unfortunate. Usagi able to close out the round. Frosted with a little miscalculation there trying to go for the heavy stun edge. He was expecting either a neutral tech or like a back tech there in that situation to try and force the, the block, but Usagi so quick on the draw here. I really do appreciate Frosted giving Kusagi some chance to pick up all these coins again. And with that level 3 Mist Finder, yeah, anything's a threat. Can't even throw a Stun Edge because that'll get slapped away. Speaking of slapped away, that Blitz. Oh, good burst. Frosted manages to sneak it out without getting punished and uh, returning the favor with some nice damage. Yeah, and you're seeing Yusagi go for a lot of these just dash block, dash block, trying to force Frosted to whiff a far slash, right? Get just out of that range and then get a punish on it. There is a nice reset into the throw. Ria Awa coming through with a nice tier one sub as well. Welcome. And there it is. Hits the vape. Unblockable. Literally smoked. <laughs> as I just absolutely smoked at the end there. Yusagi found the corner pressure without a burst in the tool at least from uh, Frosted to manage an escape from there. Just really hard pressed. And that's like, that's, that's the, the part of the matchup, right? If, if Johnny gets to level up Miss Finer with some coin hits and then neutral just gets a lot harder as so Frosted has to be a lot more mindful. And that lets Yusagi kind of run their game plan. Here we go, nice wake up DP. Frosted letting Yusagi know. You have to respect my wake up. Gets a nice tick throw off of the 2P. Oh, but 6P able to avoid the second coin there with the Stun Dipper. Burst finally comes out from Usagi. And again, not bad. There's RC. Gets the Vapor Thrust on the other side. And just heavy, uh, hard Stun Edge. Just catching. Interesting. 
But a nice back dash there. Yusagi finally able to try and get a hit to get something started. Lots of things on Zweihander, but it's a great round for Frosted. Forces a dead angle out, so no meter on Yusagi's side. Yeah, Frosted just has to play this cool here. Oh no! Things might be turning around in a drastic way. Back to level 3, but a wake up DP once again! And just runs up with the 2D! Yeah, can't ask for a better meaty than one that's low, active as heck, jump cancelable and special cancelable. Yeah, what were they thinking? Oh, but there we go. <laughs> Air throw, beautiful poke out as well there from Frosted. 2P2K gets the knockdown back into the grinder, forcing the burst out, but the 6P, Frosted is back up against the wall. I like Frosted going for the, 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 the charge stun edge into YRC just to make sure it connected. And the Vapor Thrust connects too, but without, you know, without any reason to have to block it, your soggy challenges, and it's gonna get level three Mistfinder here. So it's gonna be a scary setup. Good patience from Yusagi. You don't need to overextend a lot. And all of these just blocks are absolutely insane at the moment. But Frosted finally able to get a knockdown into the heavy stun edge. Who grab? Not a bad choice. Still has me. There's a lot of meter here on Yusagi's side. So wake up supers on out of the question or a dead angle. There it is. The punish too. Nice. Oh, empty jump into 2D. And then goes for the late JH that time. Okay, Frosted tying things up 1-1. One, one. Wow. Impressed? Just again? Right. Yes. Um, standard, solid Kai game plan. Just, you know, Johnny without really any good wake-up options against, like, the Kai pressure. Because even, like, Backdash, you're going to be forced most of the time to deal with the, the stun, charge stun edge. So as long as Frosted can just keep winning this neutral here and forcing Yusagi to be back on defense. Has a big chance. Level 3 Mistfinder though, so it's going to change the neutral. Yep, and now your back is up against the wall, a place where you never want to be. The back dash there to make sure you're in range for the close slash to get the punish. Very nice from Yusagi. Good spatial awareness on the screen, and the JH is going to come out. Yes. Silly Frosted. Just hanging out under a Johnny in the air. Oh, flip more gets the throw. It's why Hander does everything. It really does. It's tax season too, so you know Yusagi's just gonna be throwing it out there. Oh, YRC gets grabbed out of it. Okay, Frosted fighting back with the delayed air dash. And Balls Deep coming through with, with the 14 months. Thank you for the support. Welcome back. Spooky stuff. Gets a counter hit. A big opportunity for some nice damage, but... Oh, Blitz into grab. Nice way to finish that. That is nasty there. Also, Mluay coming through with the $10 direct contribution. Thank you. And immediate burst again. Yeah, does not want anything started. Plus, we'll get the burst back even if Frosted wins around. Yeah, and it's a pretty momentum. Uh, this matchup can be pretty momentum heavy, right? If Kai is able to score that knockdown, get the heavy grinder up, then it can be difficult for Giant to escape some of those situations. Usagi is doing their best here. And a good from Frosted to just avoid being right under Johnny. Found an opportunity, found a grab. 6P connects. We're going to get that hard knockdown to be putting uh, Yusaki under pressure. Especially with how good that Frosted has been switching through options on these knockdowns. I do not blame Yusaki for going for the early burst. Also, utilizing the stun dipper to get out of the way. Very smart move. Pushing Yusaki into the corner once again. This has been all Frosted. This pressure's just been great. Again, avoids the Zweihander. Just happy to sit at this far range and just dare, dare Yusaki. Come at me. Yeah, with the occasional 6P out also to keep Yusagi on their toes. There's a nice JD. Slides oh, right on it. Un, Unmetered Stun Dipper. Just the I know that you know that I know that you know, and just no fear here from Frosted. And now it is final game, final round. I really love the way that Frosted is just weaving in and out of neutral here. It's now been great. Starting, yeah, incorporating some throw now into this game plan. That far slash just making it Yusagi can't accomplish much. Finally gets level two Mistfinder after like 20 something seconds. We're comboing in the dust with the counter hit heavy slash. Oh my god. Oh, but that heavy stun edge with the tech in the air was what costed Frosted last time here. Yusagi once again stealing the turn back. Great pressure. Finds a hit. No confirm off it though. 
little meter for Frost. It has to be really careful. There's the anti-air, but no misfinder anti-air to catch him. Oh, JS going straight into the JP to keep it nice and tight there. Catches the backdash with the 2D. 5K standing low. Watch for your watt blocking. What's it? Not quite oh. enough? Had to FD, and then gets caught with the JS. Frosted takes it 2-1 over Usagi. Versus Tom Tom. All right. And don't forget to check out that Macharino, by the way. We still have plenty of codes remaining. Exclamation point Macharino in the chat. All right, there we go. Pat back again. Tom, Tom, Leo. Both, you know, I've seen both play online plenty of times. Be a fun match to see. And, of course, Pat in a comfy position, finding that counter hit, crouch slash, getting the RC combo in the dust. Tom, Tom holding on to that burst for dear life, but still in that chip blender. Able to attack in the air. Good defense. Whoa, what a clash. Was that a clash with Alpha Blade? That, that, was, a, that was some sort of mix up of the clash. It's invisible, so it's hard to tell. <laughs> now, I thought I saw an Alpha Blade there, but either way, Path the Flip still controlling this round to picture perfect perfection here. Oh, the punish? The chance for Tom Tom because the crouch combo is going to put Pat in the corner. Overhead connects, gets the knockdown. This is a big opportunity for Tom Tom to escape with this round attack. Yeah, but doesn't have the mirror to go for a YRC anymore, and that really what was con what was controlling the wake-up options there for TomTom, Tom, right? Trying to prevent Pat from waking up with a DP to chip him out. Here we go. Back into the neutral game again. Gonna get clipped by the Gamma Blade. Take it to the corner. Take it to the rim. Trying to just dunk on top of Leo. TomTom Tom just not having any chances to play. There's the burst immediately on counter hit jump D, and then just trying to jump in on shit, Pat with the great 6P. And there's the teleport too, just trying to keep Tom Tom on his toes. You can never get too comfortable in neutral against Chip. Gets the pickup fully charged 5D straight into the wall. Should be enough to kill here. Oh no, Ooh. tries to get the tech option. Try to get key with it. Again, this is a, a run back. Oh, <laughs> run up uppercut. You weren't going to block this. You weren't going to FD that. Oh, my God, Pat. You got it. And that is exactly what TomTom Tom was worried about in that very first round when you saw him doing the uh, heavy fireball into YRC. It was, I'm putting a hitbox on you when you wake up so I don't even have to think about you doing wake up DP. But in that situation, though, he just ran up and hit him with it. Yeah, it's just so funny. That was, I love it. Every little thing. I tried to finish with the air throw, couldn't get it, but then just freestyled the finish. Here we go, straight into the next game. First hit is going to come out here from Tom. Tom, look at Pat's health already, taking a huge chunk off. Yeah, Tom Tom just has to be a little more offensive. Sitting at, you know, sitting holding a charge is not really working out, and all this extra space giving Pat. So Pat is just happy to take it and run away with it. Here we go, Tom Tom able to get a big hit here. Goes in the back turn stance with the wake of DP with the red Roman cancel. Immediately changing the momentum just like that. Uh-oh, but there's a nice counter hit. Back turn, he's able to score the hit. 6H closes out the round here. Tom Tom showing signs of life. There we go. If Tom Tom starts that offense, that's all it's gonna need. Is just to force chip in the blender, get the mix ups with the back turn stance. Good IB, so uh, Pat forcing Tom Tom to back away and that gives opportunity to start getting these grabs and start setting up Chip's own offense. All right, here we go. Gonna stop on the first hit of the record, gets the throw. Wake up flash kick from Tom Tom. But then not getting too aggressive, respecting Pat's wake up. Nice blitz, it's Pierre Restand. Nice, yep, it's not afraid of the clone back turn counter getting rid of it and now Tom with the lead but the wake up Pat, wake up DP from Pat just forcing Tom Tom is always had the second guess. Yeah, because you saw on the very first uh, restand there from Tom Tom, he backdashed, right? Was afraid of the DP coming out, but then got a little too antsy. He was like, okay, Pat didn't Pat didn't DP that time, surely he won't DP the second time. <laughs> there you go, there's the telephone. No, had the could have had the charge. There you go, finds the Eisensturm. And again, just the patience, letting Pat do what he wants on his wake up. Oh, the Gamma Blade into the YRC. Nice DP again. And the counter hit, still alive! Not over till it's over. Oh, and 6P. Good and great from Pat. Recognizing that Tom Tom would go airborne against the air teleport and found the anti air. All right.
Snake. Starting off strong. Gets the JD hard knockdown. Honest mid. Oh, the, the jump, the tech dust beating out the six heavy. Oh, no punish. Fortunate. Tom Tom had opportunity. Found another one. It's putting pressure, but this is still advantage pat. Yeah, both of them pretty low on meter as well. But again, it's just trying to catch Chip and keep him nailed down, which is so difficult here. There's the run up throw. And there it is. Closing it out is Path the Flip 2-0 over Tom Tom. Like a, a year ago. But when we gonna get Day in the bracket though. I see Day in the chat with the big Yoshi. How you doing? Ooh. Round start air dash, so great option. Already forcing uh, Lazy into this corner here, but manages to bust out. But Tech into Mappa. Lazy just stuck in this corner, having a hard time uh, swapping spots, but the air throw does it. And we got Burst dead on time. Nice block. Yeah, Crocs and Socks, a little wild out here, just immediately spending the burst. Gonna get a nice counter hit though with the Mappa Hunch. Trying to catch with these backdash Mappa Hunches over and over here. And that's the difficult thing about this matchup for Axel, is that Axel whips any of his special moves or normals. You're gonna see Slayer immediately on top of him with the Mappa. So the laser gets the grab, you saw the dash forward, and now we're just getting backdash Mappas. Just to mess up your timing, dandy step. Punish oh, no. again. This is just hurting so much. Lazy just getting blown up for trying to challenge Crocs and Socks. And you saw Drew with that JH also trying to catch the tech here, but Fighting Frankie is going to fall down. And these map hunches are just shutting down any kind of zoning that Frankie can do. Finally, is able to score a nice hit. Gets the knockdown. Goes for the OTG. There's a lot of meter. You know there's a dead on time on deck. Instead, it's going to be Footloose Journey, YRC, Jump Dust, and Crocs taking that first game. Yeah, looking incredibly strong already. Actually, I would think maybe 5, 5k would be a solid option for there, but there we go. Starting off with a 2S. Gets the OTG with the 2H as well. Straight to the Renson. All right. Gets to jump forward. Nice to land on top of uh, Lazy for this full combo. And then a quick side swap. No burst yet. Gets the bite. Doesn't RC after the bite, surprisingly, here. Bite again. But there's the DP. Actually beats out the pile bunker here. Got a time? <laughs> Got a counter? We're going to get the YRC. Oh, no, shut the up. The blitz. Tried the blitz. <laughs> Got to respect. There's that meter there that adds the extra layer. I think uh, Lazy was expecting maybe a button press after, but I love just the delay into the, into the grab. Yeah, absolutely disgusting there. Setsume coming through with five gifted subs. Thank you so much for the support. Oh, trying to reset the pressure there with a dandy step. Is able to get in over the JH. Blitz, because it was a tap blitz, didn't beat the crossover. And now gets 2K 2D. Okay, 2K a little profiling. There's a lot of meter and there's a burst available for Crocs. You know what the part, you know what time it is. Yeah, I like more use of 2K and 5K in this matchup from Fighting Frankie, but okay, Crocs just sitting back here. <laughs> well, okay, good answer to that. You want to sit back? Fine. Sparrowhawk stance is going to come out and answer it. Oh my God, it's going to work. <laughs> All right, so a little more Johnny. It's time to Karma Milia. We got Sky should be high as well. Oh, immediate burst out. Again, not wanting to take big Johnny pressure and damage. Finds the 5k into the air dash. Nice confirms from Karma with has the pin. Bates the burst, does not punish it, but still has the corner pressure. Uh oh, that's never mind. Oh, yeah, it is gone now. Counter hit 6k. Coast to coast confirm here from Zwynot. Oh, but Ooh, what a challenge. Out. Interesting. Right into super. Gets the pickup as well off the wall bounce. And we got a coast to coast. I'll answer you back with one as well. All right. Launching Milia Blocker.exe. Classic uh, Secret Garden. And RC off. That's going to finish the round. Absolutely. Karma with a really beautiful comeback there. Off of just poking out of pressure. <laughs> yeah, that five heavy. Just the OS throw. I would say, I would say OS throw. It was just like... A throw attempt leading to big damage. So I have to ready with the layers. Okay, here we go. Getting a nice huge confirm here in the corner as well. Hard knockdown back into Secret Garden once again. 6K is going to get blocked this time. And the 5D was a little too far away. That's fine, though. 
Back to the mid screen, already a lot of damage on Zwynot. Karma getting the, the, the crouch confirmed knockdown with the grab. Now back to more pressure, Zwynot having the burst. But we're gonna go for Winger to cash out damage on Burstable. And the 5H there. I love the delay, or excuse me, the 6H. I love the delay out there from Karma before going into the follow up with the tumble just to see if Zwynot was gonna burst. Yeah, I mean, the, the 6 Heavy does it right because you, you can't burst until the normal hits in that situation, right? But even with the burst at the end there, not like the timing that maybe uh, Karma was expecting, is why not just getting yeah. punished? And Karma was a, just a very good first game. It always sucks because like that, that's the hard part about dealing with Secret Garden. As soon as it's out doing its thing, even if you hit her, it's just a great combo breaker. Yeah, you just have to respect it. Here we go, gonna get the combo. Actually stops a little short. Burst is gonna get baited out here. Johnny's able to get to level two. Nice hit. Okay. Drops the combo, but it's okay. We got the hard knockdown into this Y. Dashes into the corner, gets hit by the pin, and had the block. Over oh, the YRC wars coming out. 5k is gonna win though from Zwynot. Again with the 5k poke out. Zwynot taking that round very decisively. Fresh newspapers. <laughs> That's a good name. <laughs> Over the 5p anti-air. Not gonna get too much out of it. Goes straight up for the air throw though into the mix. Yeah, it's cool that Etho has that wall bounce. Gives you more time with the hard knockdown to set up a disc. Blocks a 6k, blocks a second 6k, but has to block the pin. Still no chance of escaping this corner. There's the burst to make the space. That's why having a lot of work here to catch up. Yo, Secret Garden again, and yeah, Zwynot just has to respect all of this. Gets clipped. Is it gonna die here, but one more mix is gonna do it. Perfect from Karma. Only so much you can do. Again, it's just so hard. Situation like that. We can get a five heavy, but gets thrown as why not try to approach and Karma's been mixing up all the options very well. And again, blocks the burst, forces it into a recent situation. Hit the 6k and I don't see Karma fall into his Y. His Y is just on his last legs. Absolutely. I mean, Zwei's gonna need a huge comeback here, and the dead angle gets blocked. No punish on it, but Zwei is out of meter, out of burst, and out of options now. And there it is. Karma takes it 2-0 over Zwei not qualifying for top eight winner side. There we go. <laughs> and fresh newspapers. Some more Milia action. So we're kind of getting, <laughs> we're kind of getting the exact same matchup here, but just with two different flavors. Yeah, okay, we'll see. We'll see Yusagi's approach. We'll see if they're if they're. Uh, defense can't hold up against the onslaught, but already a burst out from Yasagi. Because again, the, the challenges of trying to anti Emilia outside of pin, some characters like have a hard time dealing with jump slash. <laughs> yeah. This is why Hander now is Yasagi just gets to run their game plan, gets to find these hits just like that, catching the jump back. Already dishing out a ton of damage as the hard knockdown. Tries to go for the 6 H for a bit of a mix on meaty. Oh, and just pressing 2 S there on the 5 D. This is huge. Yeah, good challenge. This is why. Right into the setup, and boom. Air Miss Finer catching a button press. Yasagi nice. round one. But a pretty dominating round one as well. There's the dash forward into the throw. Gets the full confirm off of this into level three Miss Finer. Nice pick up. And the hard knockdown once again with the burst immediately upon landing. Yeah, a bit, of a bit of a gamble, but it works out. Instead, gets put in the corner afterwards, even with their attempt of escape. And now we're just gonna get the air dash. Nice uh, blitz, but because there wasn't a combo from it, letting Yosagi land because they didn't want to have to challenge the falling blitz back, Yosagi was able to, to challenge right then and there and takes that game one. Yeah, I really did love the idea though, right? To just try and put Yosagi into the corner and get some kind of pressure started, but unfortunately not working. All right, game number two, Fresh Newspaper, who had an early start, but couldn't capitalize into some setups, showing that Yusagi's uh, defensive options have been pretty good here. Here we go, just hanging back, trying to see what Fresh Newspaper is going to do. Gets the mix up, nearly baits out the burst there, but gets caught by it. Right, Yusagi creating space, even back there in the corner so they can find a point where they can uh, get out. And there it is with the counter hit. The 2D trading works out pretty good, but uh, you trust newspaper. 
trying to stay in, is, as today's news with the counter hit spear and uh, has not converted anything big and forced any hard set play. Oh, but then Usagi oh, just gets a grab. That 2k unfortunately whipping there whenever Johnny dashes forward, he is slightly off the ground. Who thought that was a good idea? <laughs> <laughs> and here we go immediately. Oh, just tries to go for the 5P into possibly an air throw, but it's going to take the round anyway. We take those trades. Happy about that. Yasagi one round away for making to making a fresh newspapers yesterday's news. Oh, but great defense there. Blocks the bad moon as well. Tries to chase down the fastball, but is going to get caught. Ooh, good block of bad moon. We, someone's played Melia blocker. Someone's ready. Huge damage punish on that too. Good reward. Oh, tries to go for the 2H, but isn't going to be able to land it here. That could have been a huge thing for fresh newspapers. But Yusagi getting this YRC. Masses confirm. Has plenty of mirror to work with here as well. Okay, Bakasai. There's the vape. Gets yep. smoked with the grab. And Yusagi two games to zero. Able to take it there. Really saw a way to close it out. Just leaning down, pulling out the vape, taking a hit. Has yet to be added to the pot, all right? We can get this pot definitely higher to help support these players. And some Ramathal action with Puddles. Very nice. All right. Again, this is going to be uh, fighting Frankie, just doing their best not to get knocked down. Uh, removing Ram from doing any, you know, putting her pressure on after she scores it can be extremely tricky. So as long as Frankie can stay in a situation where he can tag her out of setting up swords, as well as just avoid getting swatted by her far range normals. Oh, but here we go with the command grab, gets the pickup. Okay, blocks the DP with the safe uh, fall after setting up the sword. But it's really good after the RC because it avoids her from putting the swords down and actually putting pressure. Yeah, use the burst there. 5k to kill the swords, jump P to kill the swords, nice. 5k anti are actually going to be able to use those strings to push Frankie all the way into the corner. And this is where Ramlethal gets very lethal. Oh, avoids a dead angle. His dead angle hits pretty high, so he can go profile it, no problem. But still under pressure, finds a DP. Swords are out, so it's a good chance for a lazy. Oh, it's a grab. Again, gets the combo off of this, stuck to the wall. Yeah, I and mean, just was that a chip out? I think it was. I would say, but even even at the end of that, you know, uh, lazy AK fighting Frankie had full burst ram combos, build a lot of burst, so you can usually get two bursts per round if you play your cards right. Go for asking here with the JS as well, straight into the six age of puddles, pressing out, setting up that sword again. Great, lazy doing doing his best job to kill the swords. You know, using all, every button available, but falls right onto Ram, bursts out, yeah, does not want to get put under pressure. Good patience. There we go, nice DP. Again, harassing with the 5P, right? Runs up with the 2H. 2H does get a pull in a little bit. 3K. Hey. Yeah, give, that, best... give that to him in the crowd. Yeah. <laughs> his best meaty, honestly, it's so good. This is one of his only like plus frame normals. So, really strong when you can set it up. Oh, but the counter hit 2H forces the burst there out of Puddles. You see, Puddles is just trying to set out these swords to catch Frankie in block strings or get those big hits to push to the corner where Ramaphal really starts to cook. Oh, low profile, nice. Gets out of the corner too. So, is able to put Puddles under some pressure. Puddles content on blocking, but didn't block enough. Low altitude air throw, straight to the sword summon. Frankie though, fighting back with a throw of his own. Oh, 2D Super gets the full confirm off of it. A little bit of damage with that, uh, the, the Shark Strike Super. Opportunity using the dead angle. Even after that last one whiffed in game number, uh, round number one. Now one hit away, but the sword punishing the DP, keeping a burst safe. Not only burst safe, also, but trying to whittle down those guts with the five Ps, right? But is going to get clipped by the Renson, and Frankie is going to go up one game. Yeah, it's been good. Fighting Frankie's done a great job trying to shut down any kind of neutral situation because Ram setting the swords, which forces you to block. Axel having, like, good far-range normals, but also in this game, unlike Strive, he, has, he can have a short-range jump P. 
and not just the long range one. Oh, counter hit slash gets the counter hit, forces the burst out from Puddles. Already off to a good start as Lazy has Puddles in the corner. And there we go, gets a little extra damage with the windmill. But Puddles trying to fight their way out, able to get the low here, pressure is still going. Bar slash to try and press out. Forced to block once again by the Summon Swords. There you go. There's the overhead. There's the burst block. Bursting immediately is going to be bad news for Frankie. Manages the dead angle and escape again. So at the very least is maintaining uh, their presence in round one. Oh no, but got a little too aggressive there. Puddle's going to get the 5D into the wall. Still Overhead alive. reset? Mm-hmm. It'll work. Oh, and the throw? Hero burst. And then oh. the sword summon. Nice job. Frankie yeah, that... teching and trying to air dash forward with a button press just did not work out. Yeah, that could have gone very wrong for Puddles, but luckily the gamble pays off. Unfortunately, they are back up against the wall once again here. Frankie just staying outside of that 5P range. Yeah, and all their damage is coming from just the great pokes, converting little things here and there, and it's a good advantage. Nice block on Darwo, the just defend, the just IB on it making it punishable with the 5k and Frank fighting Frankie aka lazy on uh, potential match point yeah, but Puddles is gonna get the early lead here already putting Frankie into the corner now, Frankie has been proven to be very slippery nice with the DPs nice being able to escape by utilizing two halo profile on the 5k press out not looking like it's gonna happen right now here though Puddles it's just full control there's the burst okay and Kills the swords, but Puddles with pressure gets beat out by 5k. Frankie with barely any life here cannot take a single hit or a grab, but challenges, gets out of the corner, but has to respect. Oh, there it is, a 5k challenge. Puddles gonna tie things up 1-1. Is Exeter always on Saturday? Uh, it'll be on Saturdays here and there. We got two in a row so far. As long as people keep supporting it, we'll keep running it. Yeah, just make sure you're following uh, Tampa Never Sleeps on Twitter and following the channel so you know every week what we have. Uh, next week with Frosty Pals, things do not expect as many tournaments as normal. Yeah, absolutely. We will only be doing Strive on Monday next week. Here we go, going in with the JS. Frankie doing a good job fighting out of, excuse me, Puddle's doing a good job fighting out of Frankie's pressure here. Mm -hmm. Even in the corner, is happy, he gets a knockdown, but because uh, Ram got knocked down first, was able to put pressure on. And I like that feint to stay airborne just slightly, forcing the whip out. But oh, the cross up connects and lets Frankie out of the corner. Nice challenge with the 5k again. Anytime Puddles leaves a gap, Frankie is ready to press the 5k or 2k. And the trade there, getting the hard knockdown, tries to go for the meaty 3k, not gonna quite work out. Pretty close for both players. Ooh, oh, nice punish on this burst. Too far away for anything bigger, but still good damage. Lands into the 2H. So much meter here on Frankie's side. Goes for the YRC. But now, look at all these projectiles and swords just out. And finally, one clips and Puddles is able to get the confirm. Now things have turned around. Puddles is the one sitting at set point. That was crazy, just like this raid from Tampa Dubs. Thank you. That cross up meant so much because there was no burst. Lazy used the burst immediately as they got it, and it has to be extra careful. Finds the anti airs, finding some damage, but the Darwo is going to lead to a huge starter. Drops the combo, but jump heavy, putting Frankie in the corner. Lazy just fighting for their life. Oh, there's the reel up, gets the pick up with 6k into the bomber. And we also really haven't mentioned how well Frankie has been doing it, just shutting down the swords, right? Yeah, always aware of it. And now in a good position to close the round out. Didn't get the combo off of the 2K, but at least it's getting this chip. Any one trader hit will do. And now it's final game, final round once again between Frankie and Puddles. But this is the loser side of the bracket, so the loser of this is eliminated. Oh my god, jump, heavy, we're swinging a puddle, switch up their game plan, just dropping the blade like it was like a 2 a.m. infomercial. <laughs> Showing how slight, how good that sword chops. Okay, the gold burst. Oh, lazy, just trying to get out of this corner, trying to 
fight back. It's not working. The precarious situation has burst on deck, but needs to spend it wisely. There's the dead angle. Oh, a challenge to the 6H! Puddles has never beaten out 6H at all so far in this set, but right towards the end. And there it is! Yeah. Oh. And Frankie was just, Frankie was constantly harassing with 6H over and over and over throughout that set. Finally, yeah, this is, this is like the toppest possible level play you can really get on these online brackets. It's so wild. For sure, for sure. And if you want to see more, make sure you're following the Pat the Flip on Twitter. Pat always shows, showcases all of the weekly excerpt events. So you can kind of see what's happening, as well as you can enter Rev Tuesday as one of the, the finest Exert online tournament after Tampa number six. Absolutely. I need to get to <coughs> Rev Tuesday. Oh, but here we go. Nice YRC avoiding the coin there, not allowing Why not to get the Miss Finer level up and give me able to close out the round there with a beautiful combo through the fire and the flame. Yeah. Devo and these two, they both play each other so much. You know, it's Why not and Devo know each other's tendencies pretty well. You see Davo just getting in there is why not gets the poke out though great opportunity but is it a draw opportunity he's gonna get the counter hit 5h though back into level three and then the dp out of the pressure but you love to see he tries to go for the jk but not gonna get the cross up with it Okay. Ooh, ooh, tried to get the dive down. Gets a 2D though. That's something, but run up. Here's a hero burst. Gets a hit on it. Gets an air grab too. Dave already with the layers, but has to watch out because all Zwei needs is a clean confirm, but Davo's not making that easy. That nice 2D into the bandit revolver. Oh, tries to bait out the burst very hard, but there's the wild throw. We got burst safe route. Oh, a beautiful bursting though from Zwynot. Oh, nearly was able to take the round there with the stagger. And then 6K. The kick comes through to finish the job. And Devo, despite their best efforts, the rounds are tied up. Good challenge there. Melee takes to the skies. <laughs> Devo not going to hold any of that. Letting the DP rip. Tries to go for a cross-up situation. Zwynot was just... In, as soon as they finish blocking, the crouch heavy, that leads to so much. There's the burst back for Davo with the tumble with the block. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Well, oh, yes. Well, okay. I'm a man of my word. That's $20. All you're getting. That's all you're getting. <laughs> $20 from King Jobber to the bot. But because I was a top eight qualifier, y'all have yet to claim my $20. Optimal finish there, reminding Davo this is my game to win, and that was, and little extra mental damage to go into game two. Yeah, exactly. The mental damage is really what's brutal in these kind of situations, right? Okay. Tossing the Davo a couple of, couple of coins for a good effort, give him a little donation. All right, here we go. YRC in once again, trying to harass with the 5K. Finds the tech, but Davo finds the 2D and then it'll, another wild throw. Here we go. I like it. Or finds the burst out of the combo. But Davo's consistency on hitting these command graphs have been good, but even better is hitting these 2Ds. Meaty Gunflame is gonna get IB'd. Oh, what a whiff there on the 2S. Flips on in, gets the grab, full confirm. Oh, penny for your thoughts and a combo for your soul, but Tex out. Davo out of the corner, but still under pressure with this level three uh, Miss Finder already available. Yeah, but Zwynot only has one coin available, meaning that that Miss Finder is the last level three you're going to see. And there it is. Oh, it's needed. One touch will do with the wire seal this way, and there's the punish on the dead angle. Beautiful awareness there from Zwynot to just wait a second to see what Davo was going to do. All right, I like that. Early jump heavy. 
Just to land, Johnny's a tall boy, can have to block all that, and great opportunity. But Davo, oh. unfortunately, yeah, the Bandit Revolver swaps uh, as a full screen separation. Able to combo into the 6T, forces the first out of Zwana, and there we go. Big Fafnir to the face in Dust We Trust. Plenty of meter on Davo's side now for this next mix. Doesn't even have to spend it. That's a perfect. Hey, okay, nice answer back. Davo not not dropping a beat and or getting black beat combos, so it's all been really nice. Go. Bandit Revolver comboing into the gun flame. Optimal stuff there. Empty low 2D. Here comes the wild throw. Oh, the... Davo is just in the zone right now, completely in his rhythm. So why not? It's going to need to make a miracle of a comeback here. That was so good. There's no burst available. So he's why just putting on all this pressure. The risk gauge so high, but the Volcanic Viper even higher. Oh, oh my god, god, what a wide scene, what a jump! That was a whiff throw from Zwina, and Davo read it like a book. And now we are 1-1 one, one, once again. At this point in the bracket, you are going to see us going to Game 3s constantly. And now Davo has really been turning it up here. Let's see if he can keep that momentum going or why not is starting to sniff out the habits. There's a backdash into a level one misfiner. All right, into here. Gets a little bit of change. It's a level two wire. See, there's the burst out, the punish. Not a huge combo, but at least got level three misfiner. But now Davo with a big combo on their own. Oh, chasing up, trying to go for a throw there in the air as well. Just forces the block, JH. Oh, this is not looking good. So oh. just trying to find something has not really landed the combos that they're really consistent with. And Dave O is just has found advantage left and right, but so why not with a pixel to dream? Here we go, this YRC straight in. The 6H whiffing there. It looks like Why Not wasn't expecting that. Davo answering with the 2D. And now Dave O is the one sitting at set point. Oh, the pressure is why. Just trying to keep Davo locked down, but he gets to air dash out. Back to mid screen. And what a throw on the 6K. Get that out of here. Yeah, but there's the answer with the 5K. Oh, we missed a coin. We're only in level two. That is really unfortunate there. Well, door situation. Oh, a dust. Hmm, but Davo Tech. But Davo still under pressure. Finds a hit. Gets to confirm in the Grand Viper with the burst out. Okay. All right, gets the knockdown here. Again with the RC. Goes for the air dash. Mix up final game, final round. But Davo is going into this final round with a full burst on deck. Tricky. Davos had just a good uh, decision making in the approach against Zwei, but Zwei finding an early hit, but gets air dashed in on, and at least Davo having a chance here catching the back dash, but it'll confirm. Uh oh. With their falling, gonna get clipped. Good job blocking the overhead though after the sixth stage. Burst is gonna get baited out. I think that's fine. Bursting and not getting hit by the level 3 Mistfinder is not too bad, but because Y found the hit, level 2 Mistfinder is on deck. The Blitz misses, the Mistfinder misses, but Zwei not with a huge lead. Oh, 6P is going to land, gets the pick up after the wall bounce with the 2P as well. This is such an important confirm for Davo. Gets the low as well, going to be able to build up 50 meter. Huge burst, double wire see from both players. Lands on the... Oh, the gun flame. Davo one hit away from dying. He just tried to go into... Did he... He accidentally went... <laughs> he went into the startup of IK mode, didn't he? In the match, he... I believe in you guys. All right. Let's go see how it starts. So top eight winners. First game, Frost who took down Yosagi in a great match. Going up against Pat the Flip, the leader of the Exerd army.
delay based wasn't going to stop them and rollback is just enabling them even more. Happy to see a West Coast monster competing here, but Frosted definitely be a tough opponent. Although Frosted on defense finds the Blitz. A wary of the Blitz back, so Pat definitely uh, was okay. Oh, but here we go. Forced to burst out after that counter hit. Pat immediately just teleporting right in. Okay, speaking of teleports, yeah, exactly. Going right back in the face. Not even teleport YRC. Right, there you go. Pat, first game, pretty solid again. Uh, another one of those matchups where hard to pin down Chip. Once you do, you know, Kai can just get the split seals on, force him to block, get some mix up, get some grabs. The damage is pretty, pretty good. Once he gets going, it's just as soon as Pat can get out, it's just a game of cat and mouse. Yep. And there it is. He immediately gets out after blocking the stun dipper, but Frosted with the 6P immediately catching him. Again with the 6P. A third time! Third time is the charm gonna close out the round with it. Alright, all tied up. Frosted finding his own path and making this competitive. Here we go. Nice scoring a knockdown. Trying to go for the mix-up. Ooh, what a what a trade. Yeah, at least like every player's been pretty good at getting out of the staggers consistently. Now Frosted gets hit by Gamma Blade. Can't get out of that one. But the burst disables the invisible. But Pat with his corner pressure is looking really solid. Yeah, really strong stagger pressure here as well. But Frosted able to poke out of the 5 d attempt. Still stuck in the corner. Trades with Gamma Blade is not what you want to see. There's a throw into the RC. Stanky Leg going to be able to close out game number one here. Pat going up. Again, uh, really good. Pat just plays and like operates as fast as Chip runs around. This quick decision making uh great offense and all really on top of every little thing so good stuff so far taking that first game red bull sponsor this man you know <laughs> shotguns a red bull before he gets on the sticks <laughs> all chip players do <laughs> uh-oh we got the the cab killed there but we got it we're back in that's the classic thing, isn't it? When someone they say, I, I wish we could get that fix. That's the one thing about Exer. That's the one update <laughs> I want. He just wanted to play. He saw these good players. Like I want some of that. It's like sorry, son. It's like when someone else just hops on, like hops on stage and challenges you to a match after you won. It's like, uh, goes to Marvel. Hello. <laughs> My turn on the Xbox. <laughs> Here we go, Pat just running wild right now on Frosted. Frosted with a nice tech out of the corner though, trying to turn the momentum around, but a dead angle is gonna stop that in his tracks. Yeah, really good dead angle choice there from Pat. Again, a good life lead. All of these trades with Gamma Blade working out so well. Meaty Shuriken gets the throw. And Pat one round away from getting to that winner's finals with, without a, as much as like a scratch. Oh, J2K. First time we've seen that come out so far from Pat tonight. Taking Gamma Blade challenge. Oh, no. The burst is going to be baited. Well, not even baited. Just whips. And it is looking all Pat right now, Raf. Oh, it's, it's all Pat all the time. Another trade. With all these trade Gamma Blades, you already know what's going to happen. There's a the mix-up. And now we're down to a throw, an overhead, anything. Frosted has to play this perfect, has some bar, gets to cross and get some damage, but it's not enough yet. Oh, but the the split seal did not hit, and it looks like that threw Frosted off, right? Wasn't sure if he should try to go for the heavy stun edge to go through the grinder. The players against, <laughs> right, so. against Slayer, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Okay, what a go into this great match here. I mean, Slayer's gonna be a hard character to pin down, so Karma should have, like, the Slayer pressure on deck. But I don't think Croc really cares about any of that, and he's just laying it on thick. Nice instant blocks, jumps out, but the dashboard going past the pin is just all Crocs. Beautiful air throw, finds the grab. Every Gibson Gear player with their salt is gonna get these good air grabs, and Croc just, again. Oh, crosswise heal, recognize up back. It avoids the hair car point blank. It didn't even force a block. 
Interesting. Still good for Karma. Finds just the, the jump over with the, the heavy disc. Gets a burst out of Crocs. We're not going to see a burst super yet. But we're going to see a backdash cancel bite. Where's he punished? Nice. Karma just trying to stay on top of it. Forces the backdash and manages to get a punish on it. Secret Garden. More pressure here. Yeah, Crocs just happy to block. Oh, able to hit him with the low there. Back into the blender again. Oh, but Crocs with the J2K, unfortunately, putting himself in the corner. And a beautiful 6P from Karma is going to lead to even more pressure. Hey, expecting a challenge. So Karma going for the fast 5K there. Maybe expecting Crocs to press because uh, Karma might have blocked. But no, that hit, counter hit. Got the full combo. Jump P hitting Cross up because it's cursed. All right. What? Oh, nice roll through there with the spear. What a decision. Getting a counter hit too and getting the burst off of Crocs again, but those counter hits paying off pretty good. Oh, but J2K once again putting Crocs into the corner. Karma gonna toss him out. Gets the YRC off the top. 6K, double 6K, good blocks. But the five heavy catching the dash forward. Karma just needs one more good combo after this knockdown and has to avoid the burst. Oh, that's gonna hit. Thank you, Secret Garden, for saving oh! the day! And, oh, the grab! Oh. Wow. <laughs> wow. Didn't go for any kind of follow-up. I thought we were going to see Spear, but instead goes for the double roll into the throw. Karma taking game number one in a bit of a scrambly situation. Well, I don't, I don't know if uh, Slayer was caught standing at the end there, because that, that, that Spear or Lance, however, wouldn't have comboed. So I like setting up a grab as just like this last second deal. Really nice. I still just Secret Garden saving Karma's bacon after getting hit by dead on time. Jeez. <laughs> oh, but there's a nice JH tries to go for a cross up with the JD. It was player two. To, go ahead. One way to describe Crocs is just a like very unorthodox playstyle, right? Just wants to have fun. Crocs just wanna, wants to party, and you're invited. Secret Garden again, but it's very effective. Just getting out with the map up, pushed right back in though. Don't try to escape. Six heavy. Gonna block the reversal super. There's still a burst on deck for Crocs. If he tries to be a hero. Not this time though. Yeah, gonna hold on to it. That's very smart here because now Karma is at set point. Well dang, alright Karma. Go off. Oh, oh no. Oh, the two age Crocs went for it. Another mortal counter. Everything's working. Karma's just found three mortal in that amount of time. At least Crocs gets out. But another one. All his life, all of Crocs' life gone because of mortal counters. And look at the the meter that Karma has. Still has burst on deck as well. Crocs may have the corner position, but it's still on the back foot. Counter hit 6H. Tries to get the pickup. Just blocks there. There's the slidey, oh. gets punished though. Last chance for Crocs. Oh, but a six heavy. That button just controlling all of the space. Airborne on the ground. Karma sensed Crocs and Socks to lose. So much good character variety. The scene is so diverse. We so love to see it. Yeah, and I love to see a Ram in top eight as well. All right, let's see what Puddles can do. Puddles with the sword is at least going to be able to have some options against Johnny from the mid screen. But setting up swords is always kind of difficult, and you see Zwei killing the swords with the punish on the burst. Good opportunity here with his max range dust. Set up more pressure. Nice pick up here. Gets the wall slump. Immediately sets up the sword. Goes for the overhead with the air dash, the late air dash there, and Puddles is going to take the first round. Yeah, very nice. And again, that's just. You know, the, the hard parts about playing Johnny is like as much control as you have in neutral with great pressure, you know, defense, you got a great back dash, and that's not the extent of it. Heights YRC, a little bit of stagger pressure there, walks forward just in range for the close slash. Oh, punish! Caught uh, the rising jump heavy with a nice block, so Puddle was able to hit that 5P. And now we're setting up the, the blender in the corner. Yeah, back into both sword summons. 
Good blocks, though, from Zwynot. Able to fight his way out of the corner, but there is the dead angle. Oh, it is all just falling apart. First the blitz, then the burst. Puddles goes up game one. Relentless. Puddles just laying it on thick against Wise. Wise not just been getting choked out. It's tough, just not not even being able to press buttons, not able to go for the like, defensive options, not even able to get out of the corners, just trapped. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that is that is why Ram is so scary, right? She does take a lot of work to get going, but her corner pressure, like it, it's some of the scariest in the entire game. Her and Elfels. Oh, Valentine's gold are a little got a lot special going on, right? Absolutely. So at least finds out the corner, puddles with the sword set actually, making a great situation, but Zwei almost escaped, but got tagged on the tail end by the, the vertical sword. An incredible routing there as well. Zwei not really hurting at the moment. Puddles gonna get the overhead. Full confirm with the dust. Oh yeah, here we go. Give me your meter. I love that, forcing a checkmate. The one touch and Puddle's match point. And I think Zwana hasn't really even gotten a chance to play in this set so far. Able to score a knockdown there, gets the 2H. Yeah, you don't want to let Johnny play. Either. Like, it's just like you don't want Ram to start getting her pressure, but we find a command grab. We're gonna do this little weird like corner swap combo, which actually worked out pretty well. I've been calling Johnny, Johnny 2H, 6H all night. <laughs> Sorry, right, I get my numbers mixed up. Sorry, Chad, but here we go. <laughs> okay, we get this winder. Okay, nice 2S pressure. Finds a low, no full confirm. But this is the best that best round so far teams Y. Oh, pulling back the sword here. The up sword is gonna be able to get the hit, but the trade. Oh! Okay, bit of a scramble there. Actually able to block the burst, but didn't get any kind of a punish on it. Nice 5k from Zwynot. Okay, the small drop might pay the price. Fights it out though. Okay, Zwynot out of it yet. Right, already a level up from that coin toss. So nice opportunity here for Zwy. If he can escape this corner, he's gonna get the burst back just because of the nature of ram combos. But just, oh, how good are your guesses? Not quite good enough with the slide. Yeah, you're gonna get stuck to the wall yet again, having to hold this mix up once more, and actually once your meter. And more good pressure. Just Zwei's last legs. Oh no. Yeah, and that is going to be, oh my God, the magic pixel, but the YRC into 6P puddles eliminates Zwei from the tournament. We aren't really competing like that, but you know, we'll see who knows. Take up the mantle and show and answer the problem. But our next problem we're trying to solve, Yasagi versus Tom Tom, Leo versus Johnny. Again, Yasagi getting sent to losers by Frosted, so trying to keep the Johnny dream alive. <laughs> Here we go, gets the knockdown. Back into it again. That's why RC gets the overhead, but he can go straight into the throw. You're right, time is a flat circle. Give it five years and we'll talk about answer even more. <laughs> nah, if Mecha MacGyver and Faulty Defense have anything to show, you'll definitely see some uh, answers making a mess of things. But right now, you saw he's making a mess of Tom Tom. Keeping Leo in check. There's that Miss Finer. Let's go. Very clean round from Usagi. Straight into the next one. We're going to toss the coin immediately here, trying to get those levels up. That's two coins down. Usagi trying to be very patient here. Explosive counter hits, but neither player is able to actually get anything started out of it. Again! <laughs> All right, back to level three. All right, yeah, Yasagi's got um, their bearings. Gets the Bacchus side, and no, Suri. 
no escape out of this corner here and just advantage until you soggy, but Tom Tom fights out. Gonna try to get out of the corner. Nice. Forces a whiff of Miss Fighter, but gets tagged. There's the burst out, a lot of meter on Tom Tom's side. How can they use it to approach? There you go. With the records, nice. Oh, tries to go for the parry, possibly trying to call a reversal super. Again, back into some patient footsies here. This is the ground-based footsies Guilty Gear is known for. There we go, nice anti-air snipe. Usagi gonna take game number one here with a more reserved style of play against Leo, right? Kind of hanging back, waiting to see what TomTom Tom was gonna do. A lot of counter-hit trades, too, in that round. Yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah, TomTom Tom making efforts to challenge, but it can be very difficult. The, the scary parts of those y hander and just dealing with those johnny normals especially when you're a character that a lot of what you do is based off of you holding down back naturally um even attempting to like move forward or throw out some of those charge specials it's just it's tough there we go dashing in for the close flash there's the 2d good in this game too nice good to hit there's the burst to put tom in the corner and gets swatted away with the 2S. It's going to be a good amount of damage and a nice knockdown. Yeah. Yasagi, RC, Bakasai. Tom Tom not trying to get smoked and fights it out. Yeah, able to swap sides here. Good starter there with the 2P. Gets a nice little reset as well, putting Yusagi back into the corner. Uh oh, here we go. Pizza cutter. Just enough. All right, well done. Tom Tom finally. Stopped resting on their laurels and kicked it up a notch. As Leo, you gotta know when to go. You gotta know when to go full gorilla mode, right? Just start mashing on those buttons. It's true. I don't. I don't looking at Tom Tom's play, I don't really think of them as one of those kind of players that will do that. But they'll definitely press their advantage when given the opportunity. Great, nice just blocks here. Goes for the dashboard into the throw. Gonna be able to put Tom Tom into the corner here as well. Oh, again, YRC, too powerful. Ooh, gets the full confirm here, stuck to the wall. Oh, small drop, it's okay though. We'll see if it's okay, Yusagi needs one touch. Gets hit by back turn slash, a lot of damage here with the Hellfire. Into the <laughs> nice combo extension. Oh my goodness, Yusagi can only take one more of those. There we go, dead angle out. YRC tries to go for the low option. The second staggered low is going to be able to work out here. All right, match point Yusagi. Tom Tom with burst, a prayer, and a dream. Gets hit by the 2D, and that's going to lead to a full combo from that range. Oh, with the burst, needs to keep Tom Tom here in the corner. Yusagi wants to close things out right now, but not if Tom Tom has anything to say about it. 2D, feeling the turn back. Touring a knockdown. Oh, there we go. I love that air throw so much. Just toss that man back into the corner. He's going to dunk him right down. Guess. Oh, oh there it is. Like... What's my name? Jay. Just Jay. So you don't forget. One giant letter. We're all right. Oh, oh, but the what a There's the RC. Absolutely. It's not going to be able to kill, but we're going to get the restand into the mix. Stop. Stop. Unblockable. Oh, Goobers. Unpunishable, but the ch chip damage seals the deal. Tom Tom with the 1 1. Absolutely. Let's be honest, Pat. Johnny can't read. <laughs> He's never had to read anything in his life. <laughs> That's what May's for. He goes, May, what's this say? Oh, goodness. Johnny Slander in on commentary. I love it. He doesn't need to read. He's fine. Oh, speaking of fine. Tom Tom out of the corner, finds that five, the five heavy on the uh, crouching Yusagi, burst out from both players. Okay, gets this YRC to try to get some kind of pressure started. Oh, good back dash from Tom Tom to find the grab. And now just some safe me pressure. Not a lot of answers from Yusagi, but finds the blitz. The blitz back does not work because it was stand blitz, got hit by the 2D. Extended combo there, flipping in to close the distance. Oh, gets caught with the back dash here. 
and still able to maintain the corner position. There's the treasure hunt. Pick up afterwards. No, we go for the Baka Sai instead. Ooh, I like that. Using the hard knockdown just to set that up. You saw your match point. Not only stealing from Leo, right? Not even just jacking him. I'm just going to beat him up afterwards. But then I'm blocking him. How rude. <laughs> All right, we're in level three now, thanks to the OTG on the coins. Another Ooh. great blitz. I love the way that Usagi is now starting to blitz the back turn options here from TomTom. Oh, and then just letting the Miss Finer rock. This is going to be bad for TomTom, Tom, who has to survive this next scenario. Can they escape? Backdash, not quite enough. The Black Beat combo is going to finish the job. Usagi sends out TomTom Tom at seventh place. Really solid stuff there from Usagi. Only going to get better. Here we go, Frosted versus Puddles, Kai and Ram. Here we go, chasing with the JP into the JS. Okay, there's pressure here, I mean, pretty even. Both players with the burst toe, but the split seal comes out, forces the block on Puddles and the grab, recognizing the IV and the reduced guard frame, so good opportunity for Frosted to set that up. But there's the burst out from Puddles. Doesn't want to hold on to any of this pressure. Slides right under the stun edge here and baits out the burst. Kind of disgusting, actually, if you ask me. Everything about that was just nasty. Beautiful setup. Setup of all the layers there. Kai in the corner. What did he do? He's going to ride that lightning. A one way ticket out of the corner. Thank you, Atticus, for the $10 into the match arena. We appreciate it. And the players really appreciate it as well. So thank you so much. But Frosted able to take that first round. Frosted, despite the great plays from Puddles, maintains the pressure, takes that first round, sets up the grinders, going to set up with the low too. I love and that. Then just, the yeah, fair and honest Kai Kisuke. He's so honest. He has no mix-up. He's just the nicest guy as he's going uh, standing lows, empty jump lows, wake, wake up, up, ride super. the lightnings. <laughs> yup. Guilty as charged. And Neutronics <laughs> coming through with the $20 direct contribution to the match hero as well. Thank you all so much for the support. We are at $87. Sentai coming through with the $14.99. That extra cent coming a long way. You gotta earn it though. And Puddles has to earn their loser's bracket run if they have if they want to stay alive here. Frosted just with a clean game one, despite a shaky round one. And the wake of vapor thrust. Oh, they are just taking it to Puddles with no fear. Fear all oh, good job with that just block as well, immediately throwing out the far slash immediately. And then the PRC into the 5k. Yeah, Frosted is not scared of Puddles at all here. Even though Puddles got the counter hit far slash, no, uh, nothing from it. So now just lets Frost out of the corner. Frost is killing out the swords. Gets hit by the low. And there's the burst bait. Yeah, just a 5p mash. Easy way to take your opponent's soul. Yep, there's the 5d. Goes for the forward option. You get that wall slump. Oh, where are you running? You might be dead here? No, not quite. Okay. With more bar, right? But good. It was still a checkmate scenario. Forces just a mix up at the end. And now, Puddles answers back. One, two, three. In the corner you go. Still no way to burst out of this, so Puddles is going to take advantage of the situation. Get as much damage as they can before Frosted gets a guaranteed burst out. Yeah, here we go. Another knockdown. Tries the DP out of it, but it is so difficult to escape from the corner when Ram has her swords out. Mm hmm. Oh, tries to go for the JH, not gonna quite hit his mark. Gets a little bit of pressure going, but Frosted in a very dangerous situation on the back foot, has first available. There it is, still alive. Stun Dipper into the RC. Yeah, even hitting their own slide, getting some great chances here. Uses the YRC to move forward. The IBs from Puddle is really good, but gets counter hit. Can F Frosted looking like he's turning this around and just trying to get this, this game. Round number two with the throw that'll do. He just slid in there with the throw as well. Beautiful. What a what a comeback. Gets the clash. Wins the trade in the air, but Puddles wins the clash on the ground. 
There's the aggressive burst in the corner, but then is forced to give up some room, right? Ooh, nice. Anti-air. Sword summon again. Not the kind of trade you want to make in this kind of situation. Stuck up against the wall. Burst is still available, Raph. Yeah, last chance for it. Looks like Photos is keeping the keeping the pressure pretty burst safe. Stun Dipper comes out, and there's still enough meter for Stun Dipper YRC as necessary. But instead, it catches Puddles coming down. Oh, and the clash in the air. I don't know if Puddles is going to have burst if they're not careful. Blocks the dust. But they're on their last leg. They've got a counter hit. 5P is to bait the burst. Connects. And Frosted was still a, a prayer in a dream. Oh no, but there it is, sliding on in and sliding to a game three here. Puddles ties things up 1-1. One, one. That'll do. Getting a game three between these two. I love that slide option. Puddles, tired of getting hit by Stun Dipper, brings out the slide of their own with the RC. That was hot. All right, heavy stun edge immediately in. There's a nice just block into throw. Overhead into just attempts at burst safe. Even at the end of it with the sword summon, avoids the burst, gonna get huge damage off this into more pressure. There it is, the low with the sword swing. Guessing high, low, command grab, every little option, puddles not relenting. Here we go. Give me all your meter, but actually, oh no, Frosted <laughs> ended up using 50 bar for something there. I couldn't tell what. It was the dead angle. Oh, was dead it? Angle. Oh, okay. it hit Ram, but it doesn't matter because the this, this super just hanging out finishes the job already in the corner here. Frosted's going to get his burst back soon, but already over a third of life gone. Yeah, now Puddles is trying to finish the job here in this set. He's able to get the command grab. Check out. I like that Puddles recognized that that was going to happen, right? Immediately went into the PRC. Oh, there's the burst. Last chance for Frosted, but the sword saving Puddles. And now anything will work, anything will do. Oh, and there it is. The counter hit. And Puddles going up 2-1, eliminating Frosted from the bracket here. In uh, Johnny? It, yes. Both these players could easily have been in winners finals themselves, but again, everyone is out for blood and already Crocs trying to maneuver around, avoid the coin, but it's a tricky situation here for Slayer. Black beat combo with the trade and already Yusagi is setting the pace. Rio tries to go for the IED JH, not going to quite work. There's a big counter hit from Yusagi. Oh, and a beautiful... Ooh to 5k all right a lot of money gave up too many tips so a good opportunity here if crocs can force him to use the miss finer sentai coming through with the 12 dollars and 11 cents to the match rail putting this thing a clean 100 thank you so much for the support that's awesome oh what a back dash evades the 2d from slayer and Yusaki even though throwing some of the money away has been showing nothing but good decisions so far defensively. And Crocs and Socks just trying to be very unpredictable with the approach here. Lots of backdash cancels. There's the four dash into a 6P, just going at blistering speed. I can't keep up. Ooh, still have to put loose with the 6P, the clash. These have been just nutty clashes all throughout. Surprisingly, only one danger time so far, though. Definitely gonna be more danger time soon. But this is all Crocs gonna take that round and tie it up. Beautiful stuff there, getting the link off of the It's Late. And one, one thing about this matchup that I like as a Slayer player is that you can get Johnny to whiff a lot of things, right? If Johnny whiffs some of those uh, slash buttons or those H buttons, you can really get in and get a clean punish. An anxious amoeba coming through with a $5 direct contribution. Thank you yeah. so much. Really appreciate that. Nice corner combo here from Yusagi. So yeah, using more of the 5K instead of like the longer buttons, able to stuff out Crocs' approach, finds just the meaty hit. Crocs jumping out, trying to get an air grab, but Whoa. no dice, just how he gets a ground throw. And now it's down to basically a one-touch scenario. Here we go, Bakasai. Still able to escape, but the J... Thanks for the burst too. 
Where's where's the where's the hurt box on Miss Spider? That hurt box is like inside Johnny, all the way in the back. Yeah, you know, you know how it is. <laughs> We've all been hit by that. We've all been in that situation. And remember, Axel's normals all have hit boxes, hurt boxes, reaching out halfway where the chains are. But Johnny's best fighter, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Oh, there we go. Pile of bunker. You saw you that with nice burst. <laughs> what burst? <laughs> the final, like the final frames of that 6P. Trox and Sox got hit by. And now he's going to get put into the corner here with a hard knockdown. A lot of coins getting used, but coins are strong against Slayer. Just kind of a slow moving projectile that stops them from going forward. But we find the cross up. It's the setup. Good blocks on the cross up close slash. But almost a full confirm. I like Crocs getting out of dodge. Oh, but there it is again with the invincibility frames. And the score knocked down. Slips on in. Oh no, had the right idea, but tried to go for a walk-up throw. Yusagi landing first and getting it. And coast-to-coast -coast combo. Gonna get the unblockable setup. Here we go. Nice back dash cancel. Oh, but a hero burst into the anti-air. Oh no. Spends the burst once this round desperately and catches the back dash with the map a hunch. I like that. That was just a back a back dash from Yusagi gone wrong. And Crocs trying to tie this up. That was hot. Oh, didn't want to get the two hits Why? Crocs gets out of the corner. But an answer back gets the counter hit with two heavy as Crocs landed trying to press a button. Here we go, fading back, gets the snipe also. Over the tech four, tries to get the JK, not gonna quite work. Whip punish. Has not hit these Y-handers for getting knocked down. It's okay though. Still has this range advantage and the health advantage, but guess what time it is? Dead oh. on time it is. It's an overhead mix-up, but yep. great block. Soggy is like, nope. It's wow, dead on what a time block. for Crocs. Not just blocking the dead on time, but blocking the 6K after the RC. That was really good. There we go, Mappa is. No! 2D, are you serious? Yeah. 2D All hit right. behind, of course. Well, with Slayer Teleport, so he does have a little bit of a lingering hurt box there, so he can get caught in weird situations like that. Oh, oh try to go for the super jump into the throw, I think. There you go, Crocs getting that meaty 2k. Has tied this up. He's all in the corner here, trying to get out, and finds a way. Good patience. Oh, that is a horrible trade. Uh-oh. Gets faded out too. Crocs tying it up 1 1. Huge do or die moment after that. But Crocs again showing that if I've got a bullet in the chamber, I'm taking the shot. Dead on time. Bringing that back around. Crocs and Socks 1 to 1 in games. Let's go. Heaven or hell. Duel. Duel. One. One. Let's rock. I like keep on rock in there. Yusagi is going to be able to get a coin right at the start. Here we go, level two. All right, that time gets the right. Uh, it's why Hander gets the knockdown, but... Oh, try to get out. Crocs, jump K, gets air thrown after the block. And Yusagi just keeping his corner pressure going with level three Miss Finder. Oh, stuck to the wall as well. Oh, trying to chase back up. I think the RC was to probably go for a Bacchus side mix, but wasn't expecting Crocs to tech out. Oh, and then there's just the fourth, the air tech catching Crocs, trying to just get out of anything. Air grab perfect. Yasagi one round away from eliminating Crocs and Socks. Yeah, and is going to be able to get the overhead hit there. Again, we've seen this story so many times. Why? Knocked down in the corner, but able to tech out. Oh, again, the block to 6k! Defense from Yusagi, outstanding! And now Crocs, in a scary scenario, has a burst available in the corner here, has to be extra careful. And again, with the throw on the tech, Crocs is being a little too predictable with these techs forward. Last to chance for Crocs. Mm. Yeah, the, ba the 
first is baited, and Usagi is going to take it 2-1 over Crocs and Socks. Three out of five. So we got the two quick characters. Low life, but fast moving. And this is like the last thing at the end of the day when you're playing Milia is like, I got a character that can be as mobile as me, can really make it hard that I have to do a little bit of chasing, but as long as Karma gets a life lead, can make it look really good. Oh, but there we go. Nice 2 age from Pat. Gonna get a nice confirmed grip of damage. Yeah, we'll Ooh, 2H one. again! And 2H is gonna be very strong in this matchup, right? Chip just throwing that fist up in the air because Milia likes to approach from the skies. Big challenge. Yep. Pat, just more pressure here. Karma blocks of dust. Going on a little bit of a ride here. Ooh! Get the press, takes up with the Gamma Blade, teleporting in, and there we go. Nice pressing on that 2K there to be able to catch the roll through. Very smart from Pat. Yeah, good. Holding it down. And just, just decisions again. This 2P is really good. This 2K is really good. But the throw coming in, setting up the pressure. Bad Moon. Overhead, DP's out. Okay. Pat's tired of guessing on defense. He's going to guess right with those DPs. Nice RC to make sure that you're able to get the pickup with the 2H. Blackbeat combo. Still counts. But CP, it was nice, but the Aerith was going to find it. Here's the disc. 2K, and now we're tied up one to one rounds. All right, here we go. Straight into the next one. Pat immediately teleporting right off the bat while Karma takes to the skies. It's where he feels more comfortable in this matchup of Melia. Yeah, cut on an Alpha Blade on startup. So now Pat just in the corner, so gonna have to wait for that opportunity to kind of get out. But the hairpin to keep pressure going. Thank you, the one and only TNS Saint Cola for the big sub. That's our boy Saint Cola. <laughs> our boy coming through. Is that TNS Saint Cola? <laughs> the one and only, yeah. Oh, and the one only path to flip, catching the back dash with the Gamma Blade. There's the stun. Oh, right no. on Karma should make this pretty easy to finish off, but never mind. Survived just barely. All she needs is one setup. All she needs is one chance. Gets the hard knockdown. Secret Garden and the pickup. The RC though, and there we go. Pat able to get the first game. And look, Pat, I know you're listening. Hear me out. If you get stunned again, you gotta go for that IK. That'll force Raph to put more money into the pot. You gotta do it for the people. <laughs> we'll see. Do it Pat, for the money. Do it for the money. Do it do it for, for yourself, right? That's money to you in the end of the day. If you can make it as far as possible to get the most out of it. What a clash! Hair car clashing with Alpha Blade. Both characters just advancing specials. But Pat, again, has always been the most ready for these situations after uh, the clashes. Here we go. Karma able to get a knockdown, going straight into the top. Nice dead angle there, but gets tossed. Overhead. Hair car knockdown. Okay. I like the fadeaway to avoid any kind of a DP since Pat has shown that he's not afraid of going for those. Chasing down once again. I like it. Just creating some space. You know that Karma is going to try to go for that pin. Gets it with the pickup on the roll. Well, nice jump out. Realizing the disc was not good enough, but the dust connects Karma with that first round. And that's like a big thing. Knowing where those milia gaps are, knowing those timings where you don't, you don't have to block, you can at least get some space back. It really can save your day. But right now, Pat just putting her under pressure. That run up 2H, like you mentioned earlier, really good. Oh, and a beautiful air throw there. Low altitude. Able to catch Pat with the 5K. Air car has nice spacing. Again, catching these teleports. Karma is sniffing them out. Yeah, they sniff. They smell pretty pretty bad. So Pat's <laughs> going to be careful letting those rip like that. But he means whatever he wants at this point. The dust. That's a great answer to the dead angle. Forcing the burst out. Gamble Blade connects. Now we're fighting for that life lead. The whiffed blitz. No punish. The fast fall. Pat is just trying to fish with these six keys, but they are not hitting their mark here. Oh, Karma tries to go for an air throw again on the teleport option, but is going to lose out this time. And now Pat capitalizing on this situation. Gets the overhead here, forcing the burst out of Karma. 
Oh, the air grab! Punished essentially the pin throw by Meager air to air. Pat tying up the round on a beautiful read of that situation. Oh, no pin. Gets it back, it's okay. Pat's not gonna stay in one place. So I'm not gonna sit on the pin like that. But Carmen finds a hit, gets a 6k. There you go, there's the knockdown. First comes out, setting out the Gamma Blade. What a 5p! And then the Gamma Blade too to make that space, but Karma finds a hit. Oh no, the challenge! That's the second time we've seen 2p just get blown up by the dust. And Karma able to tie things up 1-1 one, one here. Remember, this is 3 out of 5. So we have plenty of more rounds to go between these two. Yeah, I love it. And I love that, that dust from yeah. Melia is so unique. She rolls backwards so far to get that. So it's so good at just baiting out reversals, dead angles, button presses. And, you know, it, it gives up her turn and her pressure. But, you know, it's one of those moves that just catches you forgetful. Absolutely, but what Pat is not forgetting is these overheads coming out from Karma. <laughs> Excuse me? Just Sc blowing up the 6k, okay. Screw your overhead, I I'm, I've seen enough. And to, yeah. She's such a good character if she does take in the air though, so it's really scary once you put her in that position. Nice double hits on the Resho. Finds the burst out of Karma. Karma dead angles out though. We go straight to the hair. Car oh my god, just catching the teleport there. I actually blinked and missed that for a second. Great challenge. Karma is challenging so much of Path of Flip's offense in all these different situations, and it's really paying off. That's been really good. I mean, Path's done a lot of challenges of his own, so I like Karma answering back in the same manner. And 2P gets a, a little situation that gets past some breathing room. Six heavy connects, nice mash out. But you know what happens? You get thrown because you wiggled out and then you end up blocking. But the jump back JP there creating some space and putting out a hitbox to prevent Pat from approaching. Secret guarding gets the connect, okay. Pat still has meter though, but will he get a chance to spend it? There it is, dead angle. Mm -hmm. Jinx. Jinx. You owe me a soda at Frosty. <laughs> Double Jinx. We said Jinx at the same time. All right, we'll buy each other a soda. <laughs> And there we go, Burst comes out from Karma. And the far slash is going to be able to take game number three here. Karma going up 2-1. That was so, yeah, again, that was uh, Karma turning it up after losing that game one has just been matching uh, Pat in the speed department and just managing to get um, the setups and put Pat under pressure. So uh, Pat's gonna have to change it up a little bit. Maybe spice it up some, keep Karma on their toes, but we'll see how it goes in game number four. Yeah, I'm also curious if Pat is going to teleport a little less, right? Because we saw Karma blow up those teleports so often, especially the one just right behind the opponent's head. Mm -hmm. He was just jumping back up and throwing those over and over. We'll see. I like this Pat just getting this, the FTC mix-ups, all the defense canceling, the setup left rights. Good block though. Oh, but the 2P, that's the third time! This set, where 2P has been blown up by the dust. Oh, that trade there. <laughs> the counter hit trade. Look at Pat just throwing out 2H, trying to fish for some kind of a counter hit or an anti-air. Oh, I love that confirm off that. That was such a good like super jump forward, air dash back. Double air dash Ooh. to beat up the dead angle. Pat trying to get out of dodge, but now Karma match point. Nice IB there from Karma. Take it to the skies. Back down, gets a hard knockdown. Pin, low altitude pin as well. Wait, good DP. That was nice. 6P, there we go. Once Pat connects, he's done a great job of just securing the combos. It's just back into this new situation. He hasn't been able to continue pressure. Blitz gets blown up. There's the burst out from Pat. Oh, the Gamma Blade. Karma taking to the skies to avoid it, though. Not getting too much of a punish. Also trying to fish with that 6H. There's a nice throw. RC. 
We're not going to swap sides. Instead, we're just going to try and get the carry. Oh, the and faint. The same side. Mix up to finish the job. Karma, 3-1. to one. Sends Pat the flip to the loser's bracket. <laughs> yeah. I'm not a chip player, so I can't say, but that sounds scary. There you go. Round start 2S. Catching Ram's toes. And already in that corner here. So... We, we, we saw this with the, you know, a Swynot versus Puddles. Puddles took that set. Yusagi again might do a different approach, which may work out in their favor because Puddles is used to how Swynot went. Counter hit, gets the Miss Finer. Into the corner we go, drop the combo, but it's okay. It's YYRC. Yep, sending out the coin there, immediately trying to go for some dagger pressure with the close slash. Again. Opportunity used the RC, didn't get the combo. The Soggy yeah. or Puddle's getting a chance, but it's uh, not gonna be easy. Oh, tries to go for the whiff punish there. I like that a lot from Yusagi. Consistently trying to go for these whiff punishes, but Puddles is just recovering a little too quickly. I do really love how Yusagi is not overextending though, just sitting back at a very safe range. Finally just walks up, gets the throw, and closes out the first round. Yeah. It's tough right now, challenging Puddles to advance, seeing if Puddles can make their way in, but it's just not its not easy at all with the jo strong Johnny Buttons. Okay, good 5k on the Darwo. Gets the hit, and now finds level 2 Miss Finer. Here we go, off the wall. Spock aside, there it is. Unblockable, thank you. And the burst super, you don't get a chance to spend it. Not at all. With the, the big J, Johnny almost forgetting what his name is, just having to spell it out for you. And that uh, stands for win. <laughs> Wani. <laughs> all right, here we go. Yusagi, clean game one. Puddles just not getting a chance to set up, put any pressure, or put any set play. Right, already, Yusagi's doing a good job just shutting down the sword summons here. Gets a little 5k confirmed. And very, playing this very patiently. Look at this. Just willing to sit here, walk forward menacingly, and forcing Puddles to be the one to engage. Oh, nice air grab. Yeah, right. You said it perfectly. That life lead pay, paying dividends for Yusagi. And just Puddles is like lost at what to do. They... It's so scary dealing with level 3 Mistfinder. There's the 6 heavy, double 6 heavy confirm. All that damage from those 7 hits with the risk gauge maxed out. It's so frightening, you don't want to even try to move forward because you just die. Lena, I can answer your question. Johnny respects women. <laughs> He's a pirate captain. That's what he is. Here we go, gets the knockdown. There's the throw. Oh, the low. Low blitz. All right. Good call out from Yusagi. Yeah. Took the burst out of puddles. And there's that dash forward. Going to catch you landing. Get an air grab into the level two mist. And now it's a scary setup. This one touch. Any way it hits, Yusagi will finish the job. Score throw here. Wow. Able to swap sides as well. Great stuff from puddles. Putting Yusagi into the corner. Has the chance to turn things around. Oh, but that was shortly. <laughs> What's my name? What's my name? Jay. Jay. That's right, Jay. <laughs> All right. Johnny versus Chip. Yasagi pat the flip. The only person to really get a, a, basically beat Yasagi was Frosted earlier in bracket, but they are no longer here. So it's all left to Karma and Pat, but Yasagi already finding a big hit. He's going to miss his y here, though, but rushes right in. Scores a nice 2S. RC to try and catch in the air. There's the 6P. Pat up against the ropes here, and Yusagi is unrelenting, closing out the first round in quick faction. Yeah, again, all it takes is that one hit. That first coin hits. As soon as you get that level 2 miss finder, it just makes pressure so almost inescapable. 
Oh, even after finding a hit from the two heavy, gets a 2P dash forward throw. So hard to want to even challenge Johnny because of the range is almost cross under. That's huge. All right, able to get two hits there with the coins. Again, with the RC and chasing into the air. Nice alpha blade. Pat trying to take some momentum. Puts on the stealth mode. Big blocks. Oh, but this Y hits. There's an RC just to keep some pressure going. Mm. Oh, unfortunate burst there. That was a weird burst. He was just standing there and didn't get hit by it. It's what Johnny does best. He just stands there. Menacingly. You, you see how slender this dude is for how ripped he is? It's like, it's any wonder any bursts hit this man. He has literally 0% body, body fat. He doesn't know what a carb is at all. Mm, none, so, none so ever. Oh, there's a 6k round start. Beautiful air dash pressure though there from Pat, able to get a nice big confirm. Yeah, it's a good start. Invisibility's paying, paying the bills, but that burst isn't. And uh, Yasagi is out here paying rent with these coins. Go, get some big kick up, cuts him at the legs. Okay. Gonna go for this YRC. Oh, oh no, dead angle blown up. And it sucks. Every defensive option for Pat that he's gone for, burst or uh, dead angle, has not worked. Alright, pushing all the way to the corner, but Yusagi is going to be able to take the corner there from Pat. Nice wake up buttons from Pat to try and escape. Ooh, where is he? Almost a full confirm, it's okay though. Small life lead, but there is a misfinder locked and loaded for Yusagi. Pat being very patient here, cautious with the approach. Backdash trail of his space to fake teleport. There we go, the Gamma Blade gets the pick up here. Gonna be able to put Yusagi in the corner. Ooh, but the top is gonna miss. Oh no, any air, the opening this finer. And then there's the overhead into treasure hunt. The 50-50, too strong. There's a whiff dust. Pat with a pixel and a chance, but it's not gonna be easy. He has him in the corner. There's a nice overhead teleport. Is Usagi willing to spend the burst here? That's the question. Doesn't even have to. Oh, that's unfortunate. The Alpha Blade, the combo got funky. Usagi was able to tech land, block the air alpha, bar slash connects, and two up is Usagi Johnny. Usagi wants that run back in grand finals real bad now. Trying to close this out 3-0. Let's see what Pat's response is going to be. Okay, making space. Gets a hit, gets an air grab. All right, perfect timing to set up. The FTCs force the burst out. Great start here for Pat. I want to say, Yusagi's blocking has been immaculate. Got counter hit though, and gets grabbed. This is the best round Pat, the, Pat has shown so far. I'm trying to keep Yusagi in the corner. Oh, but the teleport gets thrown out. And people are starting to sniff that out now that we've gotten to the really high end of this bracket here. They're jumping back and throwing the teleports. Well, Johnny is doing what he does best, dishing out big damage, making big comebacks. Drops his Y-hander, so opportunity for Pat. Salt Lightning still finds the two, 6P. Has meter, there we go. All right, Pat on the board. I like it. Spent the meter immediately, right? Didn't want to give Yusagi the chance to even consider that burst as an option. Here we go. Jumping straight into the next round. And this one is going to be all Yusagi at the start. Able to bait out the burst as well. Pat's health is just melting away. Oh my god! Danger! Danger Bull Robinson. I can't believe Beta Blade gets a big trade like that. The air tech. Oh my goodness. Bro, OTG into level two, scores the overhead, and the trade, unfortunate there, but Yusagi is now at set point. Yeah, 
Yeah. Pat trying to challenge has been getting favorable trades for Yasagi. Yasagi with a burst and all the money in the world. This time lands with the throw. Yo. Huge confirm. Oh my god, look at this routing. That was so good. Off oh. of the air dash cancels. There's the stun on Chip. Level 2 Mist Finder. You can't even get out of this. That's a wrap. Yep. G G's Usagi going up 3-0 over Pat the Flip and moving on to Grand Finals on the loser side. Usagi, of course, having to fight their way out of the loser's bracket here. Has to reset it up against Karma, who is sitting comfortably in winner's side. Yeah. Karma's road to this has been, you know, stacked, taking out Crocs and Talks, taking out Pat the Flip. But their first time facing Usagi. Usagi in this corner under pressure. We're gonna again see how well Yasagi's blocks can be. Because we did see uh, Yasagi go up against uh, fresh newspapers. So yeah. definitely show that they can defend against Melia pretty well. So we'll see. Absolutely. And I love the way that Karma will just sit back, throw out the top, and stand on top of it, right? Like, okay, come on, approach me. Oh, 2S. Ouch. Same scenario at this range. You cannot burst into the block side for the hard knockdown. Oh. Oh, it goes for the throw also. I like that, just stagger pressure, and then goes for the dash of throw, closing out the round. Ooh, nice, I like that, run up 2P. Getting the corner pressure into the knockdown is gonna be really good. Johnny's gonna have to hold all of this with the pin. The challenge is the roll forward with the 2D as the full confirm, but luckily, Tom was able to tech out. go secret garden goes for the low option here and then the air dash fakes it out into another low Ooh, nice stuff 2d far away oh the back dash on the lance after the roll but still karma finds a hit the tech though okay usagi i see gets the toss straight into level two miss finer spends it now at level three. Ooh, Ooh. jump out Oh, wow. trade the pin for the level 3 Miss Finer. That's not too bad. No more coins left for Usagi. So he's gonna have to fight. You know, oh, I'm about to say as honest as it gets, but Zwire at YRC is not. It's a lot. It's an extra layer of BS. Yeah, no, it ain't fair at all. <laughs> oh, roll straight into the close slash. Nice jump back, JP, but is gonna get caught again by the button into dash up throw. Just tossed her out. Just like, nope. Get out of here into the air like a piece of like a piece of a uh, crumpled up paper. Oh. And now straight into game number two. Usagi getting one up on the board, which is a good start considering Karma is the one who sent them to losers. No, no, Frosted did, remember? Oh, excuse me. Yeah, 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 my bad, my bad. No, I'm talking. Good. But uh, overhead connects. Karma is like, I cannot let what happened to my brethren happen to me. I will not let Johnny run wild on here, all right? Here we go, Secret Garden again. Oh, the jump back, heavy slash, yep. Good option, and counter hit coin. Time to go for a ride. Cross up, Zwy. Great just blocked here, but gets clipped by the Zwy next time. That was a scary burst also, actually. <laughs> I'm glad it worked out, but that, yeah, it's very spooky. What a throw with the YRC. This is going to be another scary scenario for Karma. He has to live through this last mix-up. That 2H OTG to immediately just fall into low was very dirty as well from Usagi, getting another round on the board. Yeah, it's been three straight so far. No one has been able to close it out against them. And even under pressure, even... Getting, taking, taking blows and taking hits. Always finding opportunities to bounce back. So now Yusagi with the life lead. Swy RC gets the air throw back in the corner. Oh boy. Yeah, oh man, no. It is all just falling apart. It's all tumbling down. Baits out the burst and the miss finder closes out. Game number two. Yusagi is up 2-0 against Karma. Again, Karma is, Karma is getting hits, getting setups, forcing Yasagi to have to like flex on defense. 
but it's just as the trade-off between the two was, as Yusagi gets out and the advantage they get from the higher damage combos just has been paying off. Yeah, he might have used up all of his good karma on the way to Grand Finals. <laughs> Wow, another confirm here. Bates out the burst again. Just bouncing off the wall. Practicing tennis with himself. And that was most of Yusaki's coins and all that. There's the burst out. I believe still sitting on you. Yeah, level 2 Mistfinder. So any one hit is pretty much going to spell doom. Yep, Never mind. We we're going to take back some per a little bit of something. Double super combo. Yusagi is at reset point. I love that there too, just like, oh, I'm out of coins, I'm going to steal this and then finish the job. You don't, those don't carry you over. He gave, it, he gave it back to Milia between rounds, he felt bad. Here we go, rolling in. The defense here from Yusagi in the corner is so nice. Spacing oh, Annie air. As well. Try to just jump in on Johnny with a misfire locked and loaded, but. All right, we're gonna twirl, we're gonna get a knockdown, and we got a good opportunity with the turbo fall, but again, great block from Yusagi. We're trying to chase him with a 5k. Trade there, gonna be in Karma's favor, but runs right into Johnny's loving arms. And look at that, utilizing the Mistfinder to send him closer to the corner. Oh my God, 2D, the low is just doing so much work. Dead angle gets baked, gets blocked, sayonara. Oh. I that appreciate is, you giving me your burst, but what what is that? What is that? Tell me. That is six rounds straight. That is six rounds straight. Yusagi resets the bracket. <laughs> I I don't know. I I don't know if Karma Karma's got to dig deep at this point. Hasn't won a round yet. Yeah. Ever since Yusagi got out of got into top four has not dropped a single game against anyone. And now Karma just has to stop the bleeding. The, the cut's too deep. Johnny, Johnny slices, this sword is so sharp, it's tough. Oh, another 2D. It's been so well placed. And he's done such a great job of confirming off of it. Yeah, just harassing him as far slash as well. YRC is doing so much work catching Karma, pressing. All right, have a coin. Here's a tip. Good luck with the 2S finishing that round. And even with the reset, Yasagi's not stopping anytime soon. Yeah, he said, here's a tip. Block better. Oh. Okay. get hit. <laughs> okay. It just, it's the patience, too, from Yasagi. Willing to actually just hang back and let the opponent overextend. It works out so well. Okay, Karma holding on to the corner now, not allowing Yusagi to escape. Okay, get too far for anything after that, but Karma just waiting it out, has to pin back. RC, nice extended pressure, but even better blocks from Yusagi. Jeez, all that. Look at that wrist gauge, but wow, Yusagi able to just fall into a button there, escaping from the corner, back to this mid-screen neutral, but Karma is able to get a hit. Not able to convert any of this, though, into a knockdown because they didn't have the pin. And Johnny just sees it once. Oh, toss some coins for your burst. That is, that is. <laughs> I give coins. I, I get burst, you receive coins. And a f jump D, boot to the face. You saw it with that first game after the reset. Oh. Four straight. Four straight. Still has not dropped a round. Johnny versus Billy. This is looking rough, Raph. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> rough, Raph. For sure, you're even bringing out the little variations. It's tough, it's tough out here because again, the reward for Yusagi is just so much higher. And he's done such a great job of getting out of the blender that Karma put, puts him into every now and again. And here it is again, Karma, now scoring the corner position, able to get the double roll into the throw. Nice mix up there, but the burst comes out from Yusagi, able to escape the corner with that. A push right back in, no! There you go, crouch confirm, RC, I like that. There's no burst available. Yusagi getting a taste of his own medicine. Okay, good answer with the blitz, the side swap. Yeah, and then into the 2H there. 
Trying to go for some kind of overhead mix, possibly. But look at the distance that Yusagi is staying at. Karma able to escape, but gets sniped out of the skies. And the burst again. These bursts have been so deadly for Karma. Look at what just led to. Yusagi finding all these combos, has the coins out. Nice run under. Nice escape. No punish on the blitz, though. Trade. Nice 6P. Gets the roll through into the punish. And there is a round. Karma showing signs of life here in the reset. Yeah, very nice. Just keeping it bursting with the jump peas. Finish the job there. Daring Yusagi to go for a hero burst. Finds the black beat combo. This is what Karma needs and gets the burst from Yusagi. Yusagi immediately answering back with a big damage combo here. YRC, three overheads. Count them. Dutois, hard knockdown again. Level three, Mistfinder whiffs. Opportunity for Karma, but gets hard knocked up in the counter hit. And nice then gets blown up trying to jump away. Oh. And there we go, just sliced and diced here. Karma has Kar burst available. Karma really needs to win this round. He needs, oh my god, magnet hands. But at least Karma finds a throw of their own and can set up with the Bad Moon into a full combo. Karma needs to win this game. He needs to get something on the board, get a little bit of momentum and to, keep, to keep this competitive. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. Has some meter here, spends it to get the pressure in. Is going to be able to get a nice mix up off this, but you have to watch out for the dead angle. That's good. Sending out the seek. <laughs> wow. Yusagi is still able to escape. Waits for the final hit of the secret garden to throw the dead angle out. Decision making. But Karma still with a small life lead. There's the RC crossover, but again, good blocks. Oh no. And Yusagi has a lot of meter and burst on deck. Has to watch out. Gets the Zwai, gets the air grab. Bakasai. The goal oh. burst, the blocks, the unblockable still. I can't believe it. Yosagi read that situation so perfectly. Jumped up, didn't get the air throw on the goal burst, but blocked it out. The Bacchus side, because Johnny didn't get hit, stayed on top of Karma. And then because Karma was forced to block, that was it. Oh my lord. And now we are in the possible final round, final game of this tournament. Okay, six heavy. Guess to confirm off it with the roll. But if it oh, would drop, unfortunately, probably trying to keep it burst safe. In this corner here. Oh no, the punt! It's up and it's good. Got all three coins and then got some change back there. All these IPs on everything, even blocking the 6Ks. Basically, no, I haven't seen anything but maybe like one or two 6Ks connect. And now he's just standing there menacingly. Standing on the pin, right? Not allowing, saying, you want this pin? You have to come get it. And now the pin is off screen, meaning that Karma is not going to be able to score hard knockdowns in the corner. But there we go, finally, he's able to pick it up. Oh my god. YRC dash forward, whiff grab, YRC up, try to get the air throw. Karma avoids it, but it's YRC. Karma finding a grab, going to the super, I like that. Go to the corner and get the hard knockdown off this little combo. And underwear coming through with a $5 direct contribution to the match reel. Thank you so much for the support. Okay, with this, this should be the round. Nice bad moon finisher. Is this a sign that Karma is going to be able to bring things back, or is Usagi going to shut it down right now? Sends out a coin at round start. There's the counter hit Miss Finder all the way into the corner. All this pressure from Usagi. Nice reversal throw from Karma is going to try to go for the 6K. Finally connects one, but it's off of the hair car, which doesn't really lend to any setup after. Uh, Patience here from Karma, but once again, pin is off screen, Raph. Meaning any confirmed Karma gets, there's not going to be a hard knockdown coming out from it. Well, I mean, I guess unless you super. <laughs> there you go. Hey, good decision. Had enough bar without having to use it for YRC, so got the pin back, got the hard knockdown. Secret Garden gets the low. There's no burst still yet available. Karma's best chance is right here. Has a burst, has meter for making escapes. Dead angles, gets a counter hit, but no confirm. Tons of life also, but Yusagi is sitting at level three. It's no. It is no. Not like this. Never give Yusagi a chance. 
Level 3 Mistfire is still on deck, and that's going to be so much damage. Look at the damage! Surely not. Oh, the whiff! Zweihinder. Karma is finally going to be able to get a game in this grand final set. All right. No 3 O's. Enough of that. We're tired of it. That's a wrap on these 3 0 victories. Yasaga shown that he can bleed. But now you, Karma needs to get two more games straight in order to win this. Cannot slip up at all. And once again, Yusagi starts off incredibly strong at round start. Pin is nowhere to be seen. I like that tech air backdash to avoid the 6P. There's the treasure hunt. I'll take that, lady. Thank you. But a burst from Karma finally connects. Signs of the times changing. Oh, but a trade there with the 2D is not what you want to see. Nice fall down with the JP. Hey, hey, hey. Johnny out. doing whatever combo he wants mid-screen to finish that round. But now tournament point. Here we go. 2D straight into coin once again. The pin lands, but Yusagi is going to spend the burst early on here. Wants to maintain this momentum. Maintain the cadence that they are playing at. Again, the hard knockdown two has been showing off really well. Great mix-ups off these setups here. YRC connects. Hard, counter hit but not much was gained. And now Karma with a chance, a hope. Unfortunate drop, trying to get the air throw, no dice. Oh, this might be it. Has, gonna have super at the end of it. There's the burst. Oh, not it yet though. One more chance. Able to score a throw. Sets up the top. Too far away though to actually force any kind of really strong mix up. Nice neutral jump into the JP. Oh, that's it. No, guts not quite. Saving well, the day a little bit. There's the guts are active. This YRC though, and then the no throw. You go out of here. Your champion from the loser's side, Yusagi.